Are you recording this? Hey, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, so I am Khmer and the whole channel here, we're all Khmer's. Uh, this High Yield Dividends Warriors. Now, we talk about mostly high yield dividends our channel, but we welcome all dividends, all form of income. Money is money. And uh, so if you're in a low dividend category, buying Coca-Cola for 3% and SCHD for 3% that pay quarterly, you're welcome to. Uh, you know, you don't have to talk about high yield all the time. But we focus, primary focus is high yield dividends. And uh, there's a lot of stuff to unpack today, but because today is Sunday, the first Sunday of every month, I, I always go to the PowerPoint review. And uh, so I'll, I'll just do my quick monologue and then I'll switch over to PowerPoints. Uh, the reason why I always do this is really just to synchronize um, you know, the community, just make sure we're all on the same page. And uh, because what we talk about is high yield dividends. We're not here to promote my, my YouTube channel, we're not here. I literally, people don't understand this. They, they, this is one of the things that, um, all right, if you don't believe me, all you do is just play this music. This is 21, uh, uh, 21, and this is, the name of the song is Go Away. All you do is just play that song and you will get demonetized. <laughs> But of course, nobody will ever take my word for it. You know, so you want to test your video out? Go find, uh, go, go find 21 to anyone. I'll type it in here. Uh, the name of the song is "Go Away." And good luck. And and play that as your background music. All right. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Don't really you. My my the purpose why I do YouTube channel and why I talk about high yield dividends. It's really a personal journey. A, this is talking about my journey and how I'm going to do it, how I think I'm going to get rich. And if I, if I fail, then it's my money and it's going to fail. And then, then you can watch me burn my money and you can laugh at me and you can make all kinds of video and laugh at it, you know. Uh, but my gut's feeling is that we're going to be fine. So far, everything we're on track and we're making money and, and we're doing great. So... Uh, yeah, it's my personal journey. This channel, this video used to call I am Khmer, and now it's, you know, I just change it from the I to the we. And it, it mainly talk about Cambodian language, culture, dance, music, and all that stuff. So if you want to see all that stuff, and you're not into investment and stuff like that, then, then, you, then you join the membership part. But if you don't want to join the membership part, that's fine, because that's where I keep it. So uh, I'll just give you an idea. Here's my uh, uh, random thoughts. Um, and here's my travel, all the travel, you know. Uh, I go places and I, I take recording. And then here's all the food. My most famous video is me cooking the 220-pound pigs. And then, of course, my sports and fitness. Um, and, yeah, so there it is, uh, sport and fitness. A lot of people use this picture. That's awesome. Thanks. I appreciate it. And uh, Khmer culture. Yeah, look at that. Cambodian culture. And you're know, just talking about dancing, rum wong, and all that stuff. And uh, it's just all about dancing, and that's it. Yeah. You literally see all the video. And then, of course, the music. Yep. And the reason I did that, because I didn't create a YouTube channel for investment. It's about Cambodian culture that talk about investment uh, for a very specific audience when I first start off. Who watch my channel? My families, my friends, and, uh, and yeah, most, most of that, just those group of people. And then over time, uh, there's people out there who want to talk about high yield because they, they're interested in this kind of investment journey. There's, there's not that many YouTube out there. Now there's tons of them. There's so many of them now. But there's not that many YouTube out there talking about high yield dividend investing. And so I talk about it, and, and so a lot of those people came and joined me. And, um, but there's no need to subscribe. There's no need to like my video. There's no need to subscribe. There's no need to, uh, to do anything. You just enjoy uh, my theory, my concept, and you do whatever you want to do with your own. 
I tell people all the time, I'm not a guru, I'm not a financial advisor, I have no expertise in this stuff. Uh, I, I never work in corporate America. Just think about that from that perspective, all right? My education background is different, not in finance. And so, uh, but making money, it's not, it's not rocket scientists. Buying stocks and bonds is not that difficult. Once you kind of figure out the mechanics of things, it's pretty easy. And, um, and so, you, you know, the rest of the stuff is just, you know, just time and patience. You know, just buy the stock you like and then you just keep investing on it and trying to get money. Uh, this is not a, a get rich scheme. Uh, there's no scamming going on here. Nobody's telling anybody what to buy. Matter of fact, you do the. Uh, I, if you if you come in here and you say that, I will just ban you. Most YouTubers don't ban people, but we ban people all the time because subscriber number is not important for me. Viewership is not important to me. I think that's what hurt most people. Uh, they they always kind of say that I'm doing this for clickbait. Or I'm doing this for some kind of, you know, gimmicks or something. No, literally, there's, there's none. My portfolio is what's going to get me rich. The community is helping me to build my portfolio. Like, and that's, that's the, the reward for me doing this is I get, the, I get the talent of the entire community to help me. That's my, that's, that's my, that's the only thing, I, one of the things I love about it. I like, okay, it's good to hear that kind of a story, you know, um, you know, so I, I really enjoy this. I, I started this video, uh, this uh, YouTube uh, investment journey two years ago, back in January. And I think I'm doing really well. There's a lot of opportunity to make money. But like I said, this is a personal journey. I don't expect anybody to follow me. I will never give you advices. Uh, I will never tell you how to buy anything. Uh, let's see. I think I cover all everything else. Anybody else want to? Does anybody want me to add something on that I'm not missing? I'm missing out. Uh, you know. All right. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and switch to. Let me uh, let me put on some music first, and then we'll we'll switch over. All right. Look, there's 59 people watching uh, my channel. This thing probably gonna go up to 100. Doesn't matter if there's three people, 20 people. Or 100 people. Like I said, it's not the numbers. Because the people who watching the channel, they're literally here. They're watching the channel. And, and the, if you think that this doesn't work for you, then yeah, there's so many other YouTube channels. Go watch. And, uh, and, and I encourage you to do that. All right, let me put on Luffy music because I love, I love chill music in the background. All right, um, there are many, many ways to get rich, they, uh, but it doesn't matter what, how you get rich, the best way to do it is you got to start with a planning process. You started with planning. So the first thing I did is I built a PowerPoint for it. So let's start with PowerPoint because today is the first Sunday. I want to go with, the, I just built PowerPoint because, you know, that's, I guess that's what I do. I build PowerPoint and, and I, uh, and I, it kind of framed me. So, uh, when, when every time I have question or doubt or concern, I always go back to my PowerPoint, make sure that my root, my core, uh, my planning process is still remain the same. It's still somewhat aligned. All right. With that, let's switch over to the PowerPoint first. All right, uh, first of all, how do you contact me? Uh, there are many ways to contact me. Uh, most people contact me to Discord. That's where a lot of the Command Nation hang out. All of us hang out in Discord. And, uh, and the, the, the other thing is uh, Facebook. You know, you can, uh, you can, uh, go to Facebook. I, I really use Facebook. I think I upload two videos on Facebook. I, I, I'm not just not a big fan of Facebook. Uh, my wife loves Facebook and she monitor uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram. I really use Instagram too, but that's a way to chat me. 
when I was doing uh, f uh, th Facebook and Instagram is very popular outside the United States because you get free service, and like especially in Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam and stuff like that. They get free data. So I've launched yourself in the web. So a lot of Southeast Asian from Indonesia, Laos and stuff like that, they're using Facebook. And so a lot of them send me message, uh, uh, you know, to Facebook and it's also Instagram. So a lot of them use that to communicate with. So when I was talking about, uh, when I was talking about, uh, you know, Cambodian culture, language, dancing, travel, food, music, and all that stuff, there was a lot of questions that, that, Ask and uh, that most of those questions come from Facebook. Uh, website, we have a website, but I never use it. I, I I think I visit the website once. I don't think I visit once this year. I mean, 20, 2014, you know, I mean, 2024. Uh, Twitter, uh, I'm using Twitter a lot ever since Elon bought it. Uh, I've been using Twitter. I got this video right now is broadcast in Twitter and sim simulcast in Twitter and in uh, in YouTube. So I'm just experimenting with Twitter and just, you know, see if it's, that's, you know, that's something, another good means to uh, to share the information. All right. So that's how you contact me. All right. Um, so my basic inv in investment strategy is very basic. Uh, I'm income focused, not growth. So a lot of people, you know, like, um, you see me own some growth stuff, but I don't, it's really, that's not, owning growths at all. I mean, I'm buying one or two share. Uh, so it's focused mostly income uh, because the reason why is to generate cash flow. Number one is to come up with a a retirement plan in the absence of retirement. I'm, I already have a retirement plan. So a lot of people don't know this. I already have a retirement plan. So this is in excess of the current retirement plan. But there's a lot of people in the immigrant community and when I talk about immigrant community, not just from Cambodia, but from Vietnam, from Russia, from China, from Europe, from Africa, from Australia, from Canada, a lot of Canadians, a lot of uh, Central America, a lot of South America, Brazil, and there's people from all the world. Uh, money, money is a universal problem. It's not a, a Pacific, Pacific person problem or a Pacific country problem. It, it doesn't mean one immigrant is, you know, suffer more than the other the, you know poor people is poor people you know it, it's it's the same and and people with money is people with money it's uh, very similar to each other and uh so money is a very universal problem um so the first thing you want to do is generate cash flow and uh you know that's the goal is to generate cash flow number one is uh, uh to have some kind of retirement plan uh there's people who work as a water sanitation okay uh, at the sewage who work at the sewage there's not many people want to work at the sewage all right water treatment plant but we have people in our discord work at water sewage, uh, sewage treatment all right guess what uh, he may or may not have a retirement plan people work in a Chinese restaurant uh, you know frontline cook dishwashers and stuff like that you think they have a retirement plan they most of them work for cash all right the waiter and the waitress at the Chinese restaurant the most of them work for cash they don't have a retirement plan People work in fishery. A lot of them don't have retirement plan. Uh, forestry, okay? uh, a lot of the general contractors, people who work home repair, road repair, um, you know, painting, house painting, non-union job type, uh, they don't have retirement plans. So there's a lot of people that don't have retirement plans. And this, this is just a method to get a retirement plan for them. The other thing is, um, so you you know is to generate uh, a source of income. So in order, uh, you know, they have a job right now. Let's say you work at a dishwasher at a Chinese restaurant. Well, you don't have to get a secondary job doing door dashes or doing Uber driving or working as, or let's say for example, uh, a school teacher have to go cut grasses and stuff like that, or you know, or work as a coach or something or a summer program. Guess what? You don't have to get a second job. Uh, this can replace the second job. And the third thing is to provide insurance in case you get injured. Like my dad worked in construction, uh, uh, home repair, general repair. He, he built stuff. But if he, does, if he can't go to work and fix that garage or that roof, well, guess what? Then he's not going to get paid. 
you know, this is give him a source of income. And of course, there's a lot of people who's retiree, right? And, uh, but either way, whatever, whatever direction they go to, it's their choice. I'm not telling them how to do anything. I, I'm just telling them that this is my journey, their choice, okay? Um, so my goal uh, for 2023 is to go all in on high yield dividends uh, for maximum return. 2023, I just want to get as many shares as possible can, and that's what I did. And so I just went all in on Tesla. Why Tesla? Because it was the only fund available during the time that pay high yield. I mean, ultra high yield. There was Clip, and then there was ORK, and uh, and so then there was Tesla. That that was it. Those are the three choices. Now you have multiple choices, and uh, yeah. Can you share? Discord link. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Give me a second. Yeah, if you want to join the conversation, just come in to Discord and put me in the Khmer Canadian corner. Hey, NS. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Can you share in Discord as well? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought you want the link. Thank you. Hey, good evening, uh, Philly. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's the goal. Uh, in 2024, so it's this year, my goal is to, uh, to maximize the margin uh, so I can try to get $10,000 as fast as I can. And uh, $10,000 per month of income. That's the goal, you know. By the end of the year, I should get $10,000 a month of income. And uh, so to do that, I'm maximizing the margin. Uh, and then in 2025, I'm going to set up the tax. I'm going to pay off all my debt, including the margin, pay off everything because I will have $10,000 a month. And uh, so I'm going to use that to pay off bills and stuff like that. And then get ready to transition out of the, you know, out of work. So I don't no longer need to work. So that's, that is the plan for 2026. All okay? right. And, um, and, and of course, continue to diversify my portfolio. All right, let's talk about, uh, there are many ways to get rich. There are many, many ways. I, I accidentally clicked it. Um, but one thing we we'll all have in common, uh, and, and this is just my, my thing. It, you, there's many people can give all kinds of opinion. This is just my opinion. There are many, many ways to get rich, all right? The very first step of getting rich had nothing to do with money, had nothing to do with investment, had nothing to do with Tesla or Yield Max, had nothing to do with Spy or Growth Fund or anything. It had nothing to do with any of that stuff. If you want to get rich, the first thing you have to fix is get a healthy relationship. Yeah, relationship matters. Because if you're dating a, the wrong person, Man, you're going down the tube pretty quickly. You you gonna you you're not you're not gonna you're gonna be poor for the rest of your life. You may be single and lonely down the road, no financial freedoms, and heavy depend on others. I mean, you just you can you're gonna be in a in a in a very tough situation if you date the wrong person, if you marry the wrong person. Now, if you if you date the right person, all okay, right, it doesn't guarantee you. Uh, wealth and richness or happiness. It doesn't guarantee any of that stuff. But however, it gives you a fighting chance. Because if you don't even date if you don't date the right person, you you it's it's gonna be poor. You you're just gonna be poor and and, and that's the end of the day. Um, but if you have the right partner, the partnership can get you to the next level. I'll give you a good example because a lot of Asian in this community, like for example a husband and wife opening a Dunkin' Donut. That Dunkin' Donut is going to be very successful other than a, sing, a single mom or a single dad or one person opening a restaurant. A lot of a lot of Asian business are supported by the family. Husband, wife, brother, sister, mom, dad, they're all in cahoot together to help that business thrive. The convenience store, the, uh, the Chinese restaurant, the Vietnamese pho restaurant, or the Thai restaurants, all those things, the nail salon, the, the gas station, whatever it is that they want to own, they have a much better opportunity uh, when there's a family support. But if you try to do it yourself, it's not going to be, it's going to be very, very tough. 
So uh, uh, if you're a frontline cook, if you're a cook at a Chinese restaurant, you have a better chance of dating the waitress, marry her, and both of you inspire, save money, open your own Chinese restaurant, or open a nail salon. Now you became a small business. And guess what? You don't have to speak English. That's the crazy part. In, in the United States of America, you don't have to speak English, read or write in the English language to be a successful business owner and make money. But however, if you don't have a healthy relationship, if you're dating uh, you know, uh, a very toxic person, yeah, it's, it's not gonna help you. So the very first journey to get rich is, is relationship. And if you're, if you're doing anything, <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's, it's nothing to do with money, nothing to do with investment, all right? So I hope, I hope you all understand that. And, uh, and if not, that's okay, yeah, no big deal. Hey, if you don't understand, it's no big deal. All right, the second one is, the second one is you gotta reduce your debt and risky behavior. I, I used to separate this t together, you know, two and three, and then I just put it together. Reduce your debt like credit card, car payments, clothing, bags, luxury bags, I should say, you know, luxury items. You know, let me just retype this, luxury ba items, all right? Bags, watches, and stuff like that, cars, watches. All right? All these things, golf course, golf, uh, you know, all these luxury items that you literally can get it at cheap. When I go play golf, I I bought um, a golf uh, a golf set by Wilson uh, twenty something years ago. Uh, maybe maybe I don't know twenty or fifteen years ago, All right? And I still have it. I still have it. It's amazing. By Wilson, I I think I paid like ninety nine dollar for it. Maybe, you know. And I still have it. It's still functional. It still works very well. And it it get me what I need to do play golf. I don't need the Callaway, you know, I don't need all the best club possible. One, I'm not at that level. When I'm at that level, maybe then I will get there, but I'll buy it. But I'm not at that level. So you're just playing for fun. Membership will kill people, you know, like Netflix, you know, movie theater has membership. There's membership everywhere. There's just membership everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's some kind of membership. And people don't realize how much you pay in membership. And uh, that's not gonna help you getting rich, man. If, you, if you're just spending all these money, that's not gonna help you. Gambling's not gonna help you, all right? This is risky behavior. This is ri debt, risky behavior. They're not in order, I'm just typing it up there as I put out, you know? Uh, if, you, if you're dating somebody who's a gambler or you gamble yourself, man, what's the point of nickel diming Tesla or, or, or Connie or MSTY or all these beautiful fun and when you're gambling. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, living a party lifestyle. Yeah, I, I know a, I know a guy who's like living party. He just constantly powering up. Like I know a girl who's just constantly powering up all the time. And then she's always in debt. Like she can't pay anything. You know what I'm um, You know, sexual behaviors uh, besides getting STDs and disease and get sick and all that stuff is you became a single parent. And that's connected to money. Single parent will make you broke in a heartbeat. All right, having kids without mom and dad, without the support family, you're gonna be broke pretty quickly. Uh, drugs, taking drugs, oh my god, uh, you know it's just uh, it's just crazy. You know, like you you will. That's crazy. That's crazy. Just don't do it. Alcohols. Um, you know, people can waste a lot of money on alcohols. Uh, that's expensive. Smoking is up there. You know, cigarette. Uh, but you know, I actually want to take out alcohol because you can be responsible. I'm, I drink and I'm not, you know, I'm not wasting money on that. Uh, the only time that I get drunk is like during the military birthday ball. Man, I, I love, I love doing that. You know, it's just, it's, I enjoy it. That's when I let loose and just have a great time. All right. All right. So let's go to number three, the third step of getting rich. All right. It, the, if you, okay. So you, you take care of your risky behavior. You have a good relationship. And uh, and you're pretty much living a good life. So how do you get rich? Okay, how do, how do you get rich? Okay, the first thing is you gotta get the you gotta get 
the income. You got to get the income. The, the, however you get income, you may have to go get another job or whatever, but without income, you can't do investment. Because investment need three things. You need income, you, you need your money, you need time, and all investment has risk, all right? And you need a lot of income, okay? So licensed professional, that's essentially me, uh, like a lot of people in order to be a teacher, doctor, lawyers, uh, plumbers, uh, military officers, all these people. You need to get, you know, you need to be a professional, you know, you need to go into the career field, all right? And they they pay pretty good, you know, some job range from 50,000 all the way to, you know, 300,000, 400,000, depending on what you are, all right? STEM field, if you, of all those college students out there listening to this video, if you're going to major in something, don't major Asian study. If you major in Asian study, you're not, <laughs> good luck, you're not going to get rich, all right? Um... You, you're gonna be you're gonna be a high school teacher somewhere, I, but I don't know what high school school is taking an Asian study major. All right, so don't major in Asian study. You're not gonna get rich. Major in STEM, science, technology, engineering, math, any one of those fields. You have an opportunity to go work for Elon and Tesla and Google and Microsoft, all kinds of. Most immigrants, this is where we fall under. Almost all immigrants fall under entrepreneurship. Like I said, you don't have to speak the language to open a nail salon. You don't even have to know how to read and write to open a nail salon. That's crazy, you know. But there's a lot of people own business, they don't even understand the language. It doesn't mean they're not smart. Because you can't speak the language or you can't pronounce certain words, it doesn't mean you're not smart. You know how to run business, you know how to make money, and uh, just do that. Of course, you got luxury sale, talent. This is all the YouTuber out there who want to make money. Uh, if you can dance, do TikTok, play music, rap, dribble balls, all this talent. Uh, hey, if you have talents, Guess what? You're gonna make money, um, and CEOs. You know, uh, of course, that's this is one of the hardest journey is to be a boss somewhere. All right, let me share. All right, uh, let's go to number four. All right, so what I advocate more than anything else, a lot of people miss this because they don't see the PowerPoint. What I advocate is pension, a retirement plan. I'm sorry, uh, you know, retirement plan. And there are many type of retirement plan out there. The retirement plan works. I don't like it, but it works. Can, can it be better? Yes, that's what we're doing. But if you have a retirement plan, do that. Especially employer matching plan, this one right here. If the employee is matching, holy cow, you gotta do that, all right? The retirement plan is tax deferred, right? And then, of course, it's a form of saving. And if it, there's a job that pay pension, you gotta work toward that. Bite the bullets and just take it. You know, just, um, you know, <laughs> like, especially when when um, I had a good friend, uh, he's a master sergeant and he's he just pissed off at everything. And uh, especially the military. And I told him, I said, dude, it's not worth it. Just think about it. retirement plan, pension. You're gonna get pension for the rest of life. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't stress out it, all right? And uh, <laughs> yeah, so most important, reti the retirement plan is a pretty good plan because it, but most people, most immigrants don't have a retirement plan. Most people work in a blue collar construction type, you know, handyman type kind of job. They don't have a retirement plan. And that's where we come in, all right? So let's talk about number five. Okay, we finally talking about investment. Remember I told you about three things in investment. Investment is your money. So how much you put into it is how you're gonna make your money. And number and, and the next one is you need time. And the word investment has risk. Everything in investment is risk. If somebody used the word investment, there's risk to it, right? Some risks are very clear and obvious, and some risks is you have to peel the onions a little bit to find the risk, all right? Like, for example, owning Tesla, owning Yieldmax is huge risk. There's a lot of risks that come with that, all right? There's tons of YouTube video on what the risk is. You can just go watch them. There's, there's you know, there's, so there's risk everywhere. Uh, you, there's risk buying coming books. I mean, if, if you're going to invest in gold, there's risk. You invest in oil, and, and it's going to be risky. Whatever you're investing, there's, there's some kind of risk that's associated to it. 
And also time. You need time to, to accumulate wealth. It doesn't happen overnight, right? And, um, and so, okay, so with investment strategy, it really comes down to, we're gonna keep it simplified. There are many, many strategy, but because they were in a high yield dividend space, everything that I mentioned here is geared toward that. So I'm gonna keep it simple. There are growth stocks, they are dividend stocks, all right? We're talking about investing. This is this is buying stocks, bond, you know, buying ETF, you know, uh, that type of investment. We're not talking about collecting comic books. We're not talking about gold. We're not talking about bank checking account, you know, stuff like that. We're talking about essentially owning the stock market, the stock market, trading, trading within the stock market, the, the world, the world of stock market. In the world of stock market, there are two type of growth. There are two type of stocks, or ETF. You know, there there's ETF that focus on growth. That means you buy something low now and become very expensive down the road. So imagine owning Tesla at ten dollar. You know, back in you know 2018, and now it's worth 180 dollars in 2024. So something like that, or NVD or Bitcoin. You know, like Bitcoin is a growth stock. Growth stock is buying something low and let time heal and then get into uh, the amount you want and then you sell it when you ready to use that money, all right? That's essentially growth, all right? You sell it and then, so a lot of people use this part of their retirement vehicle. Uh, so what happened is when they're ready to retire, they end up doing the 4% rule, which they, pay, they sell 4% of their portfolio and then that's what they use to live off their money all right that's growth stock matter of fact growth stock is one of the best vehicle i am not against it whatsoever i love growth stock but it's so hard to pick one how do you know which one is the next microsoft how do you know which one is the next tesla or the next amazon or the next nvd how well, it's not that it's not that easy. There's over six thousand something stocks. There's three thousand something ETF. How do you know which one to pick? That's that's the the art of it. Okay. So, and you pick the wrong one. If you put you put all your money in the wrong one, and they turn out to be a dud, and they file for bankruptcy ten years from down the road, guess what? Your your investment is going to be screwed. Yeah. So growth stock is awesome. It's, it's awesome. It's one of the best. But the hardest part about growth stock is trying to find the right one. All right. So what we talk about here is dividends. All right. A lot of dividends, uh, dividends. All right. That's what we focus on. That means stocks and ETF that generate, uh, you know, dividends and or dis distribution, whatever you want to call it. But it's paying back the owner of the stocks. All right. That's what we're talking about. So that's, you know, like Coca-Cola, for example, pay dividends. You know, T. Rowe Price pay dividend, Meta pay dividend, Apple pay dividend, but they pay very low, you know, less than 1%. So depending on who's out there, they most companies, some company pay dividends. Uh, and uh, and some, some pay a lot, some pay very little, but, you know, pay dividends. That's what we're looking for is a source of income, okay? So my, and so there are many type of dividend, dividends investment style, all right? They are, I, I coined these terms. I don't know if this is the right term. I, I don't know. If somebody look it up for me and, and describe what this category is, I just call ultra high yield dividends, high yield dividends. But essentially, I just prefer high yield dividends or so anything over 10%. So low yield dividends is 1% to 5%. You know, I, 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 I think they're low. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just low, right? It's just take, it, you need a lot of capital to own it and you need a lot of time for it to grow. But sometimes when it's low like this, it provides stability. Like Coca-Cola been around like hundreds of years. That company is going to be around for another hundreds of years. We're going to be drinking Coca-Cola in space, right? Or in Mars. They're going to be bottle cap everywhere in Mars, just like the movie Fallout or TV show Fallout or the video game Fallout. There's going to be bottle cap everywhere in, 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 on the moon. And Coca-Cola is going to be there. <laughs> SCHD, awesome fun. One of the best fun out there. One of the best ETF out there. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be, they're fine, but they, they give one 5% yield. 
mid mid yield is you know six to twelve percent. I look in Ontario Group. There's the people that Marlboro and cigarette realty income. There's a whole bunch of other one. I'm just typing like two. High yield dividend. These are the people pay thirteen percent to forty nine percent. Some of them are very high risk, like Armour Residential. But some of them are not so high risk, like FEPI, FEPI, JEPQ, SPY I, and stuff like that. And what we're mainly concerned is these halter I yield dividends. They're paying 50% to 100% more sometimes. And you're talking about, you know, it ranged from like, it ranged from like essentially 12 cents, you know, all the way to like $4. You get $4 dividend for owning one stock. Just think of that. So there's a whole bunch of range out there, you know. But that's what mostly our concern. All right. And, uh, and number seven, and this is my pathway on, on trying to get in. You know, you hear me use the word all in all the time. I'm not using the word all in as much, all right? Because why? Because I'm in phase two of my planning process. Phase one, I was all in on Tesla, all right? What I mean is I'm all in on high yield dividends, all right? But it's just not, it's just Tesla was the only one. So now I'm all in on high yield dividends, but there's multiple of them, there's multiple choices. All right, so I'm just, I, that's that's what I'm into, all right? You can be into something else, come up with your own PowerPoint, build your own plan. This is my plan. This is a personal finance for me. I'm not telling you to do anything. I don't want you to do anything. None of us here in our Discord or me will give you advice on what to buy. It's up to you. And like I said, once more again, you don't have to like our subscribe. You, you don't have to subscribe to our channel. Nothing. We don't want anything from you. You know? It, we literally don't want anything from you. How I'm going to get rich is my portfolio. And the community was helping each other out. They're helping me. I'm talking to them. We're all talking to each other. And it's just one big community. We're helping each other out to get rich. That's, that's it. All right. So, first of all, like I said, there's three things to get rich. Now, of course, there's more. Other people use three for whatever, whatever the number is, man. There's there's more. I'm just using three for now. You need time. You need your income, and and investment has rich uh, has. Uh, I mean, has risk. All right. I, I'm gonna stress the word risk every single time. Everything has risk. But your money is your contribution, how much you put in. If you put in very little, only $100, guess what? It's going to take you a lot of time. But if you put $1,000, guess what? It's going to take you a shorter amount of time. If you put $5,000, guess what? That short time is even shorter. So how much you contribute to your fund is, is, is how fast your portfolio grow. So if you're trying to reach $1 million, well, yeah, and then you got to put some more money in there. You know, here's an example. If you if you don't do any investment whatsoever, you don't put money in saving. Let's say you take your thousand dollar and put it underneath the mattress, or, or bury it in the backyard somewhere, like people do it. Do that. A lot of a lot of immigrants do that for whatever reason. They don't they don't believe in banks, so they just put money in somewhere. One thousand. If you put one thousand in a mattress, guess what? You get twelve thousand dollar. That's it. If you put one thousand and for two years, guess what? You get twenty four thousand dollar. And then guess what? The third year you get thirty-six thousand. But this is not considering the inflation. You may have a paper bill that say thirty-six thousand dollars, but what is the inflation? By that time, that that bill is probably worth, you know, twenty-five thousand dollars. Your purchasing power is less. You know, before you used to be able to buy a Honda Accord for like twenty-five thousand dollars, but now thirty-six thousand dollars, you can't even buy a Honda Accord. You can't even buy the car you wanted. Because they're forty thousand dollars now, right? That's that's not counting inflation and stuff. That dividend income, if you're using sixty percent, sixty percent, sixty cents every month, and the price is fourteen eighty one, and I don't know what you buy. It's just to get this math going. If you put a thousand dollar, guess what? In first year, you're gonna get sixteen thousand dollar, not twelve thousand, but sixteen thousand. In the second year, you're gonna get forty one thousand dollar, and third year, you get eighty two thousand dollar. Matter of fact, if you just keep investing in that same fund, in about seven to eight years, you're going to get $1 million. It's crazy. But that's if you get 60 cents of dividends and the price is $14 and lower. But it's there. The opportunity is there. 
It doesn't mean it's going to, okay, maybe not seven year, maybe not eight year, maybe not nine year, but the opportunity to get one million is there. Depend on what you do with your money. And so the main goal for me is to generate cash flow. The reason why I want cash flow, and this is the last slide, the last step. The reason why I want to generate cash flow is the first thing is for me is uh, I don't have to contribute. I don't have to do this. Why would I? Why would I need to contribute when I'm already making seven to eight thousand dollars a month, or ten thousand dollars a month? I, I I just turn that off. Because if you buy growth stocks, you have to keep using your because where you get the money to buy the growth stocks if you want to own spy or qqq great etf but where do you get the money to do that guess what it has to be your money from your paycheck you have to use your money and your paycheck to buy it or your gift from your grandma from your dad from whoever or your bonus money whatever or whatever you sell you have to use some kind of external money to buy that so for me, the goal is to generate cash flow. Number one is I don't have to use the contribution. Number two is to provide an income, a source of income for me. So this way, it's insurance to my current job. So if anything happened to me, now uh, I'm, a, I'm in the military, so it's a little bit different. You know, so if I get injured, you know, TRICARE will take care of that. Like, I just go to the hospital, I go in, and kabam, I'm done, you know, like I'm, you know, so it's a little bit different, but most people, it provide them insurance, all right, uh, for, for, for their job. So at least they get some kind of pay, payments, all right. But generate cash flow, give me the flexibility to buy what I want to buy. And you can't get cash flow overnight. Believe me, I would love to get cash flow right now. I would love to get 10000 right now. So I can stop doing this, so I can start investing. But right now, I'm 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 in my I'm just in my uh, accumulating stage, trying to build my portfolio stage. Once I get cash flow to the amounts I need, then I'm gonna start buying the funds I want to buy to generate wealth. That's the key. That's literally the key is to generate cash flow so you can do these things. Now the question is how you can generate cash flow. Just buy nothing but Coca-Cola, but the amount is very low. You can buy SHD, but the amount is very low. Matter of fact, VU pay, uh, no, uh, QQQ uh, pay dividends, but the amount is very low. SPY pay dividends, but the amount is very low. A lot of funds pay dividends, but the amount is very low. Right? This is where a lot of people, you know, has problem with me is because I'm just advocating high yield dividends and they don't believe in it. They think high yield dividends is a scam. If you think high yield dividends is a scam, yeah, I guess I guess it's not going to work. But the first the first question I would ask you is is all dividends a scam to you? Let's start with that. Do you believe in dividends? If you believe in dividends, okay, and that's the starting point, then don't buy the high yield dividends. Buy JEP, J E P I, buy JEP Q. Well, those, those are a scam too. Okay, then buy QYLD. They've been around like 10 years. Oh, no, they're not good. They're nav erosion and all that stuff. They suck. Okay, then buy SHD. But don't make a big deal about it. People make a big deal about it. There's such a drama queen out there. There's a whole bunch of drama queen. Man, could just go do you. Buy whatever you want to buy. But I'm going to buy high yield dividends. And that's my money. It's my risk. And if, I, if it doesn't work, then I, I lose out. You know? I'm going to do it. There's a lot of people want to do it. That's why they're watching me. Our channel just continue to get more popular all the time because they want to know about high yield dividends because they want to they want to generate income. All right. My strategy is weekly pay. I want to get weekly pay. All right. Uh, ultimately, I want to get $10,000. So currently right now, I own QQY, IWMY, and it's going to give me somewhere around 1000 1500 roughly that money. Okay? And my second week, I'm going to get paid roughly about $4,000. Tesla, Kony, AIY, SQY. There's a lot more now. I could have list all of them. There's just so many. Uh, I, you know, 
because I pretty much own all the yield max. And you're gonna see my portfolio here in a few seconds. And that's four thousand dollar, all right. And then third week, my third week is my my weakest week right now because it generate roughly three to four hundred dollar. That's it. But I'm growing this week, and of course my fourth week, clip, fat B, and all that stuff, it generate me between you know nine hundred dollar to a thousand two hundred. All that give me seven thousand plus. And that's the goal. My goal is I'm 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 trying to get third week, and then trying to get to eight thousand dollar. And try to get to nine thousand dollar. Eventually, get to ten thousand dollar. It take time. There's no magic formula to get rich. It's just time and investment into it, All right? And then uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, one more, a uh, couple more slide here. Um, this is just my current state, my goal, and then 2025. Ultimately, I want to make a million dollars. But now you're talking about you know, 10 years from now or so, right? I'm, I'm not gonna reach a million dollar. I'm not, because in a couple of years, I'm gonna stop working and I'm gonna withdraw this money, all right? I'm gonna spend the money. So, uh, so I'm not gonna, so right now, my biggest weakness is my, my third week. My goal is to get $2,000 first week, $2,000 from second week, which matter of fact, I got more than 2,000, I got 4,000, and then third week, get another $2,000 and fourth week get another you know get two thousand dollars so if they all even now you know two thousand five hundred two thousand five hundred eventually get to ten thousand dollars that way but my second week is four thousand dollars so and once i get you know you know once i get the weeks up man it's good you know so there's many ways to do it and another method that i look at is what you call a core and satellite concept and a lot of people use this. A lot of people in dividend space use this. I didn't understand what it is until I start talking to some of the uh, dividend investor. The dividend investor, they, they have a core fund, which is where the majority of the money in. And then they have satellite, they have multiple satellite, so they feed that because the dividend fluctuate. Some month it pay more, some month pay little. And so therefore the satellite will feed into that and ensure that you're getting $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month. As you retire, you don't want your retirement to fluctuate up and down. You want it to be the same, and that's why the satellites is important, all right? Uh, so for example, the first week, my core fund is IWMY, all right? Um, oh, this is wrong slide. This is somebody else, all right? So my first week, uh, my core fund is uh, IWMY, 1,000 share, that's the goal, and the goal is get 2,000. QQY, you know, now this this amount is different all the time. I'm just using it as an example, just Jep, like my satellite fund will be like QQY, JEPY, SPY T, all that stuff. And they will feed into the core. So if IW and Y have a bad day someday, uh, then, then we'll pick up. Now the only bad part about my first week is essentially they're all defiance. I need to find a different first week. Another first week is JEPI, J-E-P-I. All right, so maybe I add Jeppy into this mix to uh, to have diversification with another fund, with another company other than uh, Defiance. My second week, uh, essentially, Tesla feed the engine, all right, and then uh, Kony supporting it, SQY, AIYY, a whole bunch of other one, Google, Microsoft, a whole bunch of them, all right. Uh, the goal is to get to $5,000 here, so I'm just slowly building that. And third week, which uh, I have two uh, funds. So Curve, TSLP, uh, Curve does, they also, and Yield Max also at third week. So these guys support the third week. So they're a little bit diversified. And essentially my core fund is ULTY, YMAX, YMAX, and those are my, and TSLP are my core, the Curve. Not, Curve have Microsoft, Google, Amazon, all that stuff and they, they will be supporting. Now my fourth week is probably my most diversified uh, week. Uh, my main engine, my main driver is Clip. Uh, Clip is generate me a thousand dollar and then Feppy will be, you know, uh, my next fund. And then S Vault, uh, CLM, stuff like that. These are all fourth week. So you're talking about essentially four different company. Clip is Crane Share, uh, Feppy is uh, Rec Share, S Vault is 
Sim Sim Simplify, I forgot. And CLM is Cornerstone. Uh, I forgot what, who owned Cornerstone. All right. And um, so, yeah, so these are all different, um, you know, different fun feeding into the fourth week to generate income. Uh, so that's the goal. So you can see I'm listing out some potential that's on my list. Now, I own these guys at least one point, uh, but, you know, I sold them out. So eventually this list will get longer, get more. Uh, so I'm going to say, okay, once I get once I get my core fund established, uh, then I just start looking at some support fund and just keep feeding it. Uh, that's how I'm going to grow my portfolio. That's the plan. That's the game plan to grow my portfolio. All right. So that's pretty much a run through of, you know, there's more. I, I have, I built PowerPoint for every decision cycle. I'll give you an example. I built PowerPoint to explain me best method to buy in a dip, you know, just kind of reiterate my some basic philosophy I go into uh, and then X day explain, you know, it's just kind of reiterate and then using uh, maximize margin and stuff like that. Uh, you know, these are just PowerPoint. There's a whole bunch of PowerPoints out there, but uh, you know, but it didn't matter. My focus, uh, the first step number one is how you're going to get rich uh, is relationship. So if you don't fix your relationship, all those journey doesn't work. So I love doing this PowerPoint, believe it or not. Um, this is hard to believe this. Let's let's switch off the PowerPoint here. I'm going to go back to YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to close the PowerPoint. All right. Believe it or not, my you my subscriber count like exploded. Like every Sunday, uh, the first of the month when I do this PowerPoint, my I actually more people subscribe to my channel than any other form any other time. It's crazy. <laughs> they they love this PowerPoint. It's really for a beginner and explain everything and set everything up for success. Um, and now, like I said, people have choices. They can buy whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. Uh, I'm I'm going after high yield dividends. You all, you, none of you have to come in. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like. You don't have to do anything. Just uh, hey, that's all. That's all I'm talking about. I'm talking about high yield dividends. And uh, and we'll go from there. All right. Before before I continue on, I'm gonna turn it back to the uh, to the peanut gallery. We'd love to hear their opinions uh, if they want to say anything. Uh, you guys go ahead and unmute, unmute your mic if you want to say something. Um, if you're new, this is an opportunity to say hello and introduce yourself to the to the community. Hey, Maury. How you doing? Um, I was listening to um, you and Matt earlier. Yeah. And I, I caught the tail end of it. And <clears throat> here's what I would do. First of all, bring, bring up your pro portfolio. Yep. Could, could you bring that up? Yep. Give me a second. All right. All right. So here's my position. Okay, where, where is it? Uh, <laughs> Are you looking at Discord? If, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm not. I'm not sharing Discord for whatever reason. Give me a second. Oh. All right. So I'm sharing Discord right now. Can, go ahead and click on Discord. I got it. Okay. Now. <clears throat> From, from what I see, and I and I told you before, and you went right back to where you were almost. You have too many um, stocks, funds. You have too many funds. Yep. If you want to get ten thousand dollars, you sell a lot of these one and ten um, shares of things. In other words, try to pull your money from that portfolio and see how much you get. And then get invested maybe in two or three funds. And it will get you so much more per month. I'm, I'm doing this since um, last December, I believe. I, I'm, I'm, I'm making over ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 a month, every month. Okay. Now, 
I have a little bit more money, granted. <clears throat> but for $10,000, I'd be pissed off if I'd get $10,000 a month, to be honest with you. Okay, but you could do that. You could do it because you have enough money scattered all over the place. You got to you got you got to consolidate that in the three three funds whatever and then get your $10,000. Once you get your $10,000 a month, then you could branch off with other funds. But yeah. you, you're like spinning the wheel. Yeah. I mean, you, you you brought a good point. That's why I sold out of my year. That's why I sold out of the Rivian and I sold them all out and put into ULTY. Uh, that's why you, you're right. Uh, I, I totally agreed with you. I'm probably going to sell out of Tesla in July and, and get, you know, $10,000 or $9,000 and put it into my income fund. Yeah. Look, look, look how many, look how many funds you have mm -hmm. that are paying nothing. And, and I told you this before and you went back to it. You got to eliminate those funds. Yeah. Get as much money as you can and then divvy that up among the other funds, the other three funds, which would be MSTY would probably be one. Divvy, um, NVIDIA would be another one, those two. Mm -hmm. uh, and whatever, whatever one or two you would want, I would, I would put the money in that. And I'll guarantee you, you would, you would have $10,000 by next, by next month. If you do it that way and then branch off anything over 10,000. If you want to put a thousand dollars on whatever fund you want, then that's fine. But you still have that $10,000. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I, what if you I want just the funds that pay you a dollar or more? What are the, how many are there that just pay a dollar? Oh, well, I, no, you're right. Maybe. Yeah. No, you're right. A dollar, a dollar, you, you should go for a dollar. Yeah. You're right. So Missy but, pay uh, two dollars. Uh, let's, right. let, let's look over here. Um, so Missy pay two dollars, <laughs> and then uh, and Connie Fillmore. pay two dollars. Missy paid two dollars and fifty two cents. Yeah. Okay. So now, if you have, say, two thousand dollars, I mean two yeah, two thousand shares, mm -hmm. that, that would give you probably five six thousand just on that fund just on that fund alone and the rest of your money you could go to um mm -hmm. nvidia okay that that paid a dollar 19. okay you put um say you buy two thousand shares of that that would give you what two two thousand twenty five hundred dollars twenty oh um, yeah I'd say about twenty six hundred dollars yeah so now you are you are already up about seven eight thousand dollars on two funds on two funds you'll you'll be up eight thousand dollars and you still have cash because I, I don't know how much cash you have in those funds but you have quite a few funds yeah if, if you figure out how much money you have in your portfolio and then take it from there you got and, and forget about the one week two weeks forget about that you you want to get the cash once you get the cash if you want to divvy it up four times a week a month fine do it okay but don't don't pick a fund just because it's the fourth uh fourth week you have you have funds in there are paying two dollars over two dollars you know you know what i'm saying it, it, believe me you, you could have ten thousand dollars next month I can almost, I almost guarantee you that. <laughs> really, you have you have money involved in that. In those yeah, let's, let's let's calculate this real quickly. So, uh, Misty, uh, it's so we know the X date coming. So the current right. price is thirty one seventy. So this this thing probably going to come down to let's say twenty nine dollar. Twenty nine. Twenty nine dollar. And I let's say I sell everything out here. Let's say I get about eight thousand four eight thousand four hundred, right? Eight thousand four hundred. Uh, oh, plus I got one thousand eight hundred coming in. So, uh, but let's just use just use the what I sell out over here. Divide by uh, twenty nine dollars. Right. So I get two hundred eighty nine share. Right. Two hundred eighty nine share time two point five two. 
I'm going to get $729 out of that fund that I get, uh, you know, roughly. Yeah. Hey, but that that's only on 200 and some shares. Mm -hmm. you got, got to get more than that. Yeah. You you have to try to get at least, I would, oh, I would say not at least, but try to get 2,000 shares. Okay. The money that the money that you're bringing in when you sell everything you pick your three funds mm -hmm. which must miss the nvidia and, and you have a lot of, yeah you can pick coin yeah and the funny part about there's guys during are uh, you coming broken when, can billy hear you They, 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 yeah, anybody else hear Maury? I didn't hear what he said. Maury, uh, you might have to like restart your computer or something. Tell you if you have, a, I had three. So that that brought me in fifteen thousand dollars in that that one fund. Yeah. You know, and and Nvidia. Okay, you have two thousand shares of Nvidia. That brought in um, two one one twenty. Mm -hmm. So what are you looking at? Over two thousand, almost almost three thousand dollars. So that that's almost well. You you're not going to spend. You're not going to put. You're not going to buy eight, six thousand dollars, six shares, six well, thousand. Well, I mean, for this month, uh, I'm going to have one thousand eight uh, for tomorrow. I'm going to have one thousand eight hundred coming in on Wednesday. I'm going to get four thousand coming in, predicted, uh, projected to have four thousand total combined, well, five thousand eight hundred. In addition, if I sell all this too, so obviously. Exactly. So you 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 have cash. You have money. You just have it tied up different. Yeah, yeah. That's if if you want to. If you want to get to that goal of ten thousand, you could do it right now. I'm telling you, you could do it, and you don't have to have all those funds. Yeah. You know, and then once you get your ten thousand a month, then you want if you want to branch off, then you branch off. But I would not go crazy like like you do. It's 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 money just wasted. That, that that's my feeling. I don't know if anybody disagrees. I, I'd be. Yeah, Happy there's to. a couple of people who just unmute, unmute, unmute their mic. I don't know if they disagreed or not, or maybe they agree with you. Uh, Cream, did you want to say something? You unmute earlier, and Lion, you you unmute your mic earlier. Oh, uh, maybe I can jump in. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Lion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's if your goal is to increase your income, mm -hmm. then the upper section is more of a growth stocks and as you explained they don't pay dividend so you have about eight thousand dollars that you can redeploy and buying the fund so from this perspective i think if your goal is to focus your energy into income this is what i would do again not financial advice this is right the upper section i would sell it off Take that eight thousand dollars and redeploy based on your risk profile. Yeah. Number one. Number two. What Maury mentioned. There's one thing we need to keep in mind. Every month we're gonna get a different distribution. It's not guaranteed it's gonna be the same. We can have like in Misty we had four dollars. Now we're getting two and a half. We don't know what's gonna be next month. We don't know anything about distribution the months ahead um so here is the the challenge is whether to as maury mentioned maybe pick three or four funds that are paying the highest and then focus on them but this doesn't guarantee that they continue paying that high every month no you're or, right. right okay because it's fluctuating it's the nature of the funds the, <laughs> the, the dna the yep. dna of the Right. You know what I mean. Yep. Yep. Or, or on the other hand, yeah. Or on the other hand, and also there's another thing. There's the the risk profile. Yeah. You don't want to kind of focus on one, and all of a sudden there is black swan event, and one company on single ETF company something happens, 
and this is gonna be a setback for you. You know, there's a, a YouTube guy, I forgot his name now, uh, I, I saw it earlier, I saw it when I took a shower. He's, I think he's, he took a home loan of $300,000, he went in all AMZ. That's Yield Max TV. That is crazy! That is awesome. I, you know what? God, God bless him, man. God bless him. <laughs> well, you know what? Come on, those, those guys have been doing that for, for a while. Yeah. So they're like, um, how can I say, immune to it. Yeah. Okay. And they know what they want. They want income. Okay. And that's a fast way of doing it. And they don't care about the loan. Yeah. They'll, they know that they could pay the loan off. Oh, dude, uh, I can. You know, if you if you talk to people who come from real estate, man. Three and th that's nothing. That's one. That's one home. If you're going to own a lot of property, guess what? You're going to be owning a lot of loans. Yeah. So I'm not. That's why. That's why I'm not sweating. And I, when when I hear that, I was just smiling. I was just laughing out loud. I'm like, oh damn, that dude is going to be attacked by by all kind of community. <laughs> like, well, you're right about. Um, how can I say it? Um, having well, like me. Yeah. Monday, I'm gonna try to get out of missed it. Six thousand shares is way too much. Yeah, way too much. Okay. Well, you just told me to get two thousand shares, Misty, and now why are you why are you, why are you getting out? Two thousand. <laughs> I'm not getting all, all of it out. Okay. okay. I'm not getting all of it out, and I I would probably keep two thousand. Okay. But thousands a lot. <laughs> okay, because if it goes down a half a point, you know, yeah, it, yeah. It'll, 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 and the amount of money that I'm getting on Wednesday, that brings my cost average down to like $29, $28. Okay. So I could get out of that, okay, 4,000 shares and get out of it. Now I feel a lot more comfortable. Plus, I have the cash. Yeah. Okay. I just put the other 3,000 to get the dividend. That's yeah. all. You know, that... No, I, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, I, uh, I. That's why I sold. Uh, no, the reason I sold out Rivian and so far had nothing to do with paying my margin. A lot of people, because I didn't make six thousand. I didn't make seven thousand dollar. Remote. I have. I have goal. I have phase plan. So what happened is, let's go to income fund uh, section. Give me a second. I'm going to go to income investment. So what happened is, my plan is to make seven thousand in order for me to make ten thousand by December. My April month has to be seven thousand, so March is six thousand. Uh, April is going to be seven thousand, and then seven thousand, seven thousand three hundred. You know, and then in June, going to July will be, uh, you know, going for eight thousand. Right, that was the plan. I didn't make it. And you know, the reason why I didn't make it because uh, Clip didn't pay me the amount it's supposed to pay me, and Tesla didn't pay me the amount it's supposed to pay me. You know, like there's a lot of funds supposed to pay, uh, you know, better yield, but they didn't. You know, that's that's the nature to go up and down. And so uh, as a result, um, I, I sold my Rivian, uh, my Sofa, my Neo. So this way I can um, so this way I can generate. So what happened after I sold it and I bought it now it went to eight thousand. This number is not real. Uh, so I manually calculated. Uh, so when uh, in my manual calculation, I actually generate about seven thousand. Let me show you the Excel spreadsheet here real quick. Um, all right. So where's where's my Excel? Did I close my Excel? I did. Oh no, it's still there. Oh, okay, it was just shrinking. So let me show you my my Excel real quickly. Yeah. So I I hear you in this. Uh, uh, and I thought about it, and that's why I made the adjustment because I didn't get the amount I, I wanted. So hey, excuse, um, me. excuse me, man. Now, Lion to, to me is in different. He's in a different ball game. Yeah. Than because he has a lot more money. Yeah. Okay. So, and I know he has a, a lot of shares. Which, to be honest with you, if I had his money, I would probably do the same thing because it'd be you know you could always see that money coming in. But like in your case, if you want ten thousand dollars. It's very, very possible you could you could get ten thousand yeah. dollars with the amount of money that you have spread all over the place. Yeah. So currently, okay. right now, um, I'm 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 on pace to get seven thousand three hundred fifty-five for the month of May. Uh, this is uh, Rexy hasn't been updated yet. Curve hasn't been updated yet. 
and clip hasn't been updated. This is based purely on defiance and on yield max. That's it. Of course, yield max second week, not yield max third week. So with that in mind, I get about 7,355. Okay? So that's that's just my calculation on, on these fund. And um, on, that's my manual calculation. So I wouldn't manually calculate it and to see how much I'm going to get. So in... In, in Charles Schwab, uh, let me go put back Charles Schwab back up. Uh, where is my Excel? So in my Charles Schwab, um, it doesn't show it that way because, okay, so why does Charles Schwab show a different amount? Because Charles Schwab doesn't update uh, their, yeah. their, their uh, distribution until the X date, yeah. so to, tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow when they update it, that eight thousand dollar gonna go back down. That, that's the reason why I sold my Rivian, my Neo, my SoFi is to get to ensure that I, I make seven thousand dollar. And I totally agree with you because um, if if I'm not make if I'm not on pace to make eight thousand dollar, well I, I already made seven thousand. So now the next goal is I gotta make eight thousand dollar. If I'm not pace on pace to make eight thousand dollar, guess what? I'm probably gonna sell my uh, my my uh, my stock too, so I can get. What? Two more. What, what generates um, gen generates um, seventy three hundred dollars? What what funds? Uh, seventy three. Oh, all of them. The seventy three. Oh, all, yeah, all, all of them. 50. That's the total of my portfolio. Okay. What if on your big funds like Tesla and yeah, Tes Tesla is my biggest. QQY okay. is my how second biggest. Uh, how many and, how and much then you clip. Get? Yeah, clip. You have about eighteen hundred shares, if mm -hmm. I remember right. Yep, and then and then Coney. Uh, okay. Coney, even though it's only five hundred share, but the dividend's so high, it generates pretty good money. IWY yeah, is pretty good too. Know, you want to generate more money for yeah. Coney. Okay, if you have five hundred, make it a thousand. So okay. now you, you double your amount of money. Yeah. Now, now you're speaking my language. Uh, you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna sell out a Tesla, I'm right. gonna buy Coney. Uh, because I already have 500 share, might as well get to a thousand share. Don't go crazy like I did, because like I said, I'm 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 a little different than you. I'm I might have more. I don't know. Um, I'm used to spending that kind of money, but I'm I'm no I'm no dummy either. Come Monday, I'll I'll try to get out of four thousand shares, and I'll keep it at two thousand, which is no problem. You know, and then I'll use that money someplace else with nvidia or I, I see i only like those two funds that's um that's the only reason um it's hard for me to go to another fund but i i should i should go yeah uh yeah christian sensei don't sell tesla i i have no plan to sell tesla uh because i want to i want to do option trading on tesla but right. and more is right if i need to get to ten thousand dollar i will sell it because my priority is income not right. tesla because i can always buy tesla if, if, they're, exactly. if they're a good company, they're going to be a good company a year from now, you know, but I got to get to 10,000 first. The money that you're going to, the shares that are you're going to reinvest, you know, will be part of yeah. shares every month. Yeah. So you, you could have money if you want to do options or something like yeah. that. You could do that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not that hard. And I'm not saying it, it's for everybody, okay? Yeah. Because... The whole bottom line with this, I believe, is shares. You, if you had the shares, you're going to make a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of these guys, they're young guys. They're just starting out. They don't have the money to do that. I understand that. And if you keep on doing it the way you're doing it, you'll be fine in years to come. You know, I'm I'm 76 years old. You yeah. know, I, I have the money to, to do this. You know, a lot of people don't don't have that money. So, but if we do this do the same thing you will get money coming in you know with good funds you know um i have um ulty i have 500 shares of it yeah. which is um on the 14th so um, that's the, the declaration day that'll probably pay a dollar something you know yeah. no i i might buy another 500 shares before yeah. that or i'll wait till the declaration date and see what it's paying if it's paying, it's not going to be paying close to two dollars, but it might be paying a dollar fifty. Well, I, I might buy another thousand shares of it yeah. to collect the, the dividend. You know, 
Um, and it, it's it's cheap. It's like fifteen dollars or something. So you get a lot of shares for less money. Yeah, uh, that's I, a good point. Uh, uh, Mad Mad DF, do you want to say something? Yeah, I, I was kind of curious. It sounds like Mari is saying to sell the onesie and twosie ETFs, right? And kind of consolidate. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Because he had that before, like that. I mean, yeah, before I only had like Tesla and Claire yeah, and I when, I, when, I, when I told you before, you had a bunch of ones, ones and twos. Well, you got to stop somewhere. You can't jump in and throw a well, thousand. You no, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. You don't have to start some. You could start somewhere huh. when you make your ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Then if you then if you want to start somewhere, take the dividend and start it. Okay. Don't do it now. You have money tied up. And you're making dollars on, okay. on every fund. I mean, it's okay if you have a couple fund. You have quite a few funds. Yeah. That are one and two, and uh, even like the the, the hundred yeah. hundred shares. Uh, Casey, I give me a second. Uh, I think Crip Crip Dumb uh, want to say something. He unqueued his mic. Uh, Arch Mage want to uh, go ahead. Uh, Crip Dumb, do you want to say something? Yeah, go ahead. We can't hear you. It, it, it sounds like you want to say something, but we can't hear you. Okay, uh, he doesn't want to say anything. All right, so uh, Archmage, and then and then go to KC. Want to say, go ahead, Archmage? Yeah, I just want to take a just a little bit of issue with Mari. Uh, I'm not saying he's wrong because uh, he's ta he's the one he's talking about you and him. Uh, you guys are in a slightly different uh, money bracket than probably a lot of people on here uh yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> so so uh, so like i'm so like i'm not necessarily saying what he's saying is wrong I, i'm just saying like as a general rule like yeah you know i got i you know I, i've been around uh inve investing these as long as you have come here but um uh, but the one thing i've noticed though is like you know you, you really can't dis like it's like if you look at like Coney, uh, Amzi, uh, Facebook, uh, uh, obviously Nvidia, uh, the one good thing, and and now you know Wimax, because uh, because look, mo there's like, I, like I get that like we're not about a capital appreciation, but but also be nice for also not to have capital depreciation, so. And, and those funds pay, are paying really good. They're all, all almost a dollar. The ones I just mentioned. I mean, I know they, I know they slightly missed the mark, but uh, but they're almost a dollar, and they've like tended to keep around their their price. You know, they fluctuate a little bit. I, I, You're right. Trust me, I understand. But but they tend to keep their price. So getting paid, even if it's you know ninety cents, is nothing to sneeze at. Okay. So even even at ninety cents, but you're not losing any capital appreciate or you know you're not getting capital depreciation or capital decay, whatever you you know whatever phrase you want to use. I mean that's a very important thing to a guy starting out because just like me and Kamir and everybody else and a brother that bought Tesla a long time ago, we all seen how that went and like that'll the so if people are getting in stuff. Like I'm, I'm not real big on you, you, uh, ULTY, because it's already down. Well, they paid once, and it's already down to what fifteen bucks or something like that. Uh, yeah, but, it's, excuse me. That if you take notes, that that's been going up. See that that's what you, you don't mind if it goes down, but you do want it to go back up. Look at Misty. Now tomorrow, that's going to be down to about twenty nine dollars. Yep. I would think. I would think. A lot of people are going to jump on that because it's so cheap. You see what I'm saying? I mean, um, but, but, but hang on, hang on, Omari. I, I, I'm not saying like that. But we, here's what I'm saying: to somebody, it's just like Start getting down. started. You know, putting two, three hundred, or whatever. You know, two, three hundred right. a month, you know, what? Like U U T U L T Y is not like the, you. Pro you probably shouldn't start with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because no what's going to happen is like if that thing continues to slide down which you know maybe it will maybe it won't i'm not saying one way or another i'm just saying if it does uh 
it, it'll get people, you know, that they might get a bad taste in their mouth or feel, you know. You are 100% right. Whereas, and like, if you start, start with, like, now, start, if you start with, like, NVIDIA or Coney, not only are you getting a good dividend, uh, but, but at least you're not losing, you're not losing your capital either. Uh, yeah, that's a, let's, so let's, I come, I, I'm let's give Maury a chance to uh, respond what you just said. Yeah, go ahead. Well, he's he, he's right. You know, he, you should stay away from that stock because it has the possibility of going down, and it takes longer to go back up. And that's what happened to um, Tesla. Mm -hmm. It went down, and it never went back up. <laughs> you know, and we were stuck with it. But if if you stay with Misty, um, um, the Nvidia, I I like Nvidia because it, price is very cheap. It'll be down tomorrow about $25. Yep. That's reasonable. And it's not going to go down. NVIDIA is going to go sky high. Their, their um, earnings come out on May 22nd. You know they're going to blow it out of the park. Mm -hmm. So that's going to go up at least a dollar or two between now and May 22nd. And God knows what, what after May 22nd. So I, I would suggest that. Um, the younger guys start with funds that don't depreciate that much don't worry if it goes down a dollar or so because it's it's going to do that uh, because of the dividend as long as it has the potential of going back up that's the key and tesla wasn't the, the fund to do that it never went back up where it, where it should have we just bought it at the wrong time you know so if if you do that, you, you'll be fine with with these funds. Believe me, you know you put X amount of dollars in a month, just keep adding it every month, every month, and you're gonna see how that grows. And you get you're gonna get price appreciation. That's a that's a plus. Mark, right. All right, go ahead, Casey. You want to say something? Uh, yeah, Maury, I I actually agree with what you're talking about. I mean. Camir's own account is his own account, but the methodology you're talking about, mm -hmm. uh, it's something I'm wrestling with myself, you know, how diversified do I want to be versus how focused do I want to be and concentrate my money on, for me right now, it's 10 particular ETFs, right? So for me, um, I'm taking that Mori approach, so I'm glad Mori brought it up as I'm more hyper-focused on 10 that I can, you know, not have some with one or two or five shares, but a lot more with 10 and concentrating my money uh, that way to build dividends faster. And I'm with more 100%. Once I get enough, instead of starting with a small starter position, I can go a little heavier once the dividends have come in. So that, that's all I wanted to say is more. I'm, that's something I've been wrestling with, buddy. Do I, how diversified do I want to be? And I think I've, chosen the route of concentrated money versus yeah, right. diversification that's, right. that's all that, that's all i have to say everybody here can make money everybody okay if you pick the, the right fund and stick with that you're going to make money mm -hmm. and then when you're satisfied with the amount of money you're bringing in that month then you could spread out if you wanted to there's a lot of funds out there okay and by the time you're ready for that there'll be even more funds that would drive you crazy. You know, concentrate on making that money as fast as you can every month. And it, it, it works. Believe me, it works. I, 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 I've been doing it. For eight months, I've been doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I brought in roughly about seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 since eight, eight months. I mean that's that's good money. I'm sorry, that's good money. And if you want to, if you want to wait for Declaration Day, if you have cash, you find out which, which fund has the most dividend, and you put money on that. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, mean, I'm writing this stuff down, so I'm I'm not, I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm just writing all the things you said here on my little notepad, because tomorrow I'm gonna I'm gonna start buying stuff. No, you gotta start selling. <laughs> you gotta start selling. Start selling. <laughs> well, that, I, I, 
so first of all, uh, uh, does anybody else want to chime in? Or oh, Archmage, you want to you wanna continue on? Yeah, please um, chime in. I'd I like to hear what you guys think. Well, m my other issue, though, is uh, is like, just like we talked about uh, ULTY, is like, uh, you know, maybe maybe I'm the outlier here, but like I, I like like really focusing on the underlying too. If you, if you're going to do uh, like I'm a, I'm a big fan of Wamax, but just forget that for a second. But I, I like like of the underlying stock because like if you look at like you know Am Amazon, Facebook, you know in, uh, Nvidia, uh, Coney, like all of these are you know blew out earnings great companies mm -hmm. have a very bright future whereas like 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 uh, uh misty for example the underlying is micro strategy if bitcoin is not going up micro strategy will absolutely go down which it did it, <laughs> when that yeah, it, it's it as a company by itself is just horrible. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. if look at their last earnings reports, it's horrible. So like, I'm not saying don't, and, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't get it, don't buy it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, if you're building for just like a long-term, good paying dividend portfolio, you know, you do got to check that. I mean, in my opinion, you do got to check that underlying, you know? So You're right. You're, right. you're, you're absolutely right. I, mean, I wouldn't, keep misty for a long term because i i know what's going to happen one of these days it's the bitcoin's going to take a dive and you'll be out if you sell okay then you got to figure out how how strong do you believe in bitcoin will it will go back up maybe we'll go down further maybe uh, but i don't want to take that chance because i have too many shares of that yeah. i don't have i have too many shares i you know, I Let's don't give feel, uh, Colby a chance uh, to talk, and then Fonzo, uh, Fonzo, want to say something, and then go back to Lion. So, Colby, go ahead. Oh, uh, <laughs> I hit the button by accident, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll say something real quick. Um, I I 100% agree. Um, <clears throat> I think if you want to get back to this really diversified buy every fund in the future, I think you know that's something you can do. But I'm gonna I'm in a home uh, I'm in agreement with uh, with Mari and you know the thing th that I kind of recommend is you know you like the weekly payout so you know you can look at your week one funds which ones do you like IWMY QQQY you know if those are the ones you want to stick with then you know stick with those two and then sell the rest and then you move to week two and say what do you like tesla coney nvidia misty you know grab those and then sell the rest and then week three all t y max whatever you like and then sell the rest and you know week four so you know get yourself like you know maybe five to ten different funds that pay over the course of the whole week and if you stick whatever money you have back in there like you said or like they said you could easily have ten thousand dollars coming in per month if not more if you did something like that yeah excuse me the only thing i disagree with kilmore he's too concentrated on weekly pays you know forget about that now you want to all you want cash ten thousand ten thousand dollars a month that's that's what you should be your first priority once you get that, then if you want to screw around with other funds, fine. But at least you have ten thousand dollars coming in every month. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, get that out of your head. Get right now. Get that out of your head. Concentrate on ten thousand dollars next right. month. Next month, concentrate. That that's all you have to do, and and you you'll get it. Believe me, you'll get it. Okay, I'm Fonzo, sorry. Uh, Fonzo, do you want to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, throw in my two cents. Sure. I agree with Mari, what he's saying, that if you go kind of concentrate your portfolio into the highest paying ones to get to 10000 as soon as possible, mm -hmm. but you want to avoid the Tesla situation. If you go, if you concentrate too much on the highest paying dividends and then they start dropping, your account is going to go down as well. So 
I actually like your portfolio the way you have it now because you're getting diversified and you don't have as much yield max as you would if you were to concentrate yourself in the highest paying dividends. Yeah. That being said, what I would do, what I would question, like, why won't you, if you're really trying to get to 10,000 as soon as possible, sell your common stock, including Tesla, put it all into ULTY, mm -hmm. that knocks out your third week and it brings you up like a thousand dollars because you already have like 300 or 400 shares of ULTY. Yep. You can buy another 500 shares mm -hmm. for 8,000, $9,000 and you're closer to $8,000, $9,000. That's just my two cents. That's a good point. Plus I'm getting, I'm getting 7,000 for the month of May, which I haven't got it yet. I will get it all. I will get, you know, portion here. Right. And also by having all these different funds, you can DCA a lot easier than if you have to start over, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you'd have to start all, all over, all over again as opposed to just kind of concentrate yourself in the highest pain and also keep all the ones that you have because you're more diversified and you're protecting yourself from having the Tesla situation to where if you're too concentrated in one position and it goes down a lot, you're going to be red a lot. Mm -hmm. So I like what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing and you're going to hit really fast. No, these are, these are all good opinion. I'll tell you what my game plan is. And um, and I'll show you. I'm just curious to get some different feedback. Mori, you want to continue on? Or, uh, um, Bonjo said something. Um, oh, about um, the diversification. Mm -hmm. oh, look how many funds he has. How how many funds do you have? I don't know. It's like more more than fifty. Right. <laughs> you think that's you I know have, I have a, a, a good amount? Yeah, you do. Do you think he should keep funds or do you think he, he should keep those 50 funds? Well, they're generating income, yeah. Yeah, oh. they're generating income and you can DCA because you have a position built out. Uh, stop adding to those small positions and concentrate all your money into the ones that pay the highest. I agree with that. But with all those different positions, you can DCA easier on the ones that are the reddest. How much it gives you, you more options to DCA pretty much is what I'm trying to say. Well, here's all the fun. These are all the green funds. So I don't need to DCA them. Here's all the red fund. And here's all the one I need to DCA. Essentially, these these group of, of people right here. Uh, uh, interesting. Uh, no, no, I, I love this discussion because it provides what you call just, you know, different opinion. There's different ways. Of, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's different opinions. Um, it all depends how you, how fast you want to get it. Yeah. I could probably say you could get to 10,000 by next month. Yeah. Without, without question, in my, in my opinion, you could get to 10,000 by next month. If you would sell those and the, the money you have put towards those two or three, um, sh uh, funds and you'll have, you have $10,000, no problem. And then go from there. Then go if you want to add. If you want to pick up another fund, then do it. Yeah, inter inter interesting opinion. Yeah, it, it's just my opinion. That's it. I mean, it, MJ, do you want to say something? Uh, being the super super still new guy in the group, the only thing I'm just trying to figure out is why in the hell does everybody keep comparing everything to freaking Tesla? We could yeah. not, we did not know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We could, we did not know what Tesla was going to be six months from six months ago. We did not know what Tesla was going to be a year ago. We did not know what what was going to happen to Tesla, you know, a year and a half ago at, at any particular point. And, and the factor though that, that it's, it's the same thing with every stock, we don't know the future of any stock. And I, and I just get tired of everybody's like, well. Don't don't let Tesla happen to you again. Don't let Tesla happen to you again. I mean, that's with everybody. That's and that's also with any any kind of stock that's out there, though. You don't know what, what's going to happen in thirty days. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Yield Max could be Yield Max could have all the best funds out in the world. You know, all of a sudden tomorrow, Yield Max can also fold out of nowhere. Some maybe corruption or whatever. 
my biggest thing is is people just need to quit comparing things to other things especially that's been around for a while because we don't know what the future is and the other thing that i say here now and i always talk about because everybody also always talks about see like my portfolio my spreadsheet that i have it has a difference between stuff that's bought with dividends and stuff that's bought with cost so I know with my own money. So I know exactly how much of my own money is put in. And I actually have tags, you know, technically as you consider people that know spreadsheets, uh, conditional formatting done on them. So when like the dividend portion actually pays, you know, is higher than what I put into it, then it's going to turn green. So it lets me know whatever I put into it, I've gotten back. And then after that particular portion, you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? But then also the other thing to look at is you look at any of these particular stocks, you find you find me a $15 stock that's willing to pay 50 cents a month. I, I mean, obviously with a lot of these, I'm being very generous. Majority of these aren't even paying, they're paying higher than 50 cents. You find me a stock that's $15 a month that pays 50 cents a month. And it stays at 15 and, 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 yeah or, or, or yeah it stays at least at 15. and the other and the other thing is though is i totally understand the weekly thing like i, I sit there and I, and I hear a few people that want to talk about you know ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars a month ten thousand dollars but the thing about it is, is and like like kamara i know i know i used to be in the, mil in the military with you and, and technically i still get paid the same way as when i was in the military the 15th and the last working day of the month you have to budget so even if you're making ten thousand dollars a month, you have to budget for that. So having it having it come, you know, twenty five hundred a week, 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 it's a lot easier to budget for seven days instead of budgeting for eighteen to maybe thirty two days. So I I get the weekly thing. It makes a lot of sense. Could could I say something? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. A guy like uh, myself and like. I guess there's a lot of guys that are, are retired. Um, when I was younger, yeah, we lived week to week. And I agree with you, MC, MJ. But now when, when you get to be retired, like Kilmore's going to be doing, first of all, you, you don't need that much money because everything's paid for. You know, you, you get your um, pension check and um, SS, uh, SNS, Social Security, that's more than enough more than enough you, you, you actually save money but um that's i'm just going on because you you were saying week by week and i was there okay um uh, almost everybody's there week to, you live from week to week you know you can't wait till the next check comes in to pay the bills and stuff like that yeah um but I, I don't think you would be in that situation, would you, Kilmore? No. No, I, 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 I I'm, I'm not worried about money. No, that's what I was thinking. If I worry about, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, think about it. I have a $60,000 margin. I'm not even worried about it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about it at all. Like, this this portfolio can go kapoop tomorrow, and I'll be fine. Um, but No, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying about that particular thing, though, is it's a lot easier to sit here and schedule your uh, a seven day plan compared to scheduling oh, a yeah. 15 day well, that's plan. That's why I'm doing it, MJ. An yeah. 18 day plan, that's a not... 30 day plan. I, I I do the weekly based on how I want to receive my money down the road. And and the problem if, you, when, when, when people don't understand why I do weekly, they also tell me that they may not be as tra a travel like I am. I travel a lot. Uh, I, I at one point in my life I put over a million miles of traveling. It's just a lot of traveling, uh, and and when you go some when you go to some of these foreign country, you need cash right away as much as fast as you can. You don't want to wait until the end of the month because bad things happen, and and you might you might have to bail yourself out and you need cash. You need U.S. dollars, not right, but not not what, not what you currency. what you just said, but. What you just said, though, mm -hmm. is the main reason why going weekly is better. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's and I'm not sitting there saying, technically, I'm not saying everybody's wrong. But this is the thing, though. If all, Let's sit there and say, we'll, we'll sit there and say you're on a trip. 
Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, a massive emergency happens on your trip. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, it's going to sit there and take away 80% of your cash. Yeah. Well, if, if you literally, if you literally only getting dividends for maybe three days out of the month towards the beginning or the end of the month. Yeah. You're pretty much SOL compared to if you go, I'm just saying, if you go weekly, all of a sudden an emergency happens and it takes 80% of your income, you're more likely still going to have enough income to last you to that next dividend get paid, gets paid in maybe three days, five days, six days. Yeah. I got a so friend I'm of mine. You, 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 I, can I, I say I, something again with that? Yeah. What's the difference if you have that money at the end of the month? Okay. And if you want, you want, if you're going on a trip, you take X amount of dollars. No, it's out. For, for safety. It's it's for safety. Like if you you have to bribe somebody. Let's say let's say you have a friend who's in jail, or you said that. You or you got to get a plane ticket, an emergency. Uh, you they're not going to take anything else other than U.S. cash. Right now, what are you going to do? Carry a couple thousand dollars on you? No, you know you don't want to carry a couple thousand dollars. You get mugged. Exactly. You, you, so what do you, you do? You put it in the bank, but but you got to withdraw it. Right. You got to be able to so withdraw what? it. But if you don't get paid, if you don't get paid, uh, you're going to run into some cash problem when you're traveling. If you had the money in the bank at the end of the month or at the beginning of the month, whatever, the money's there. The money, the money's there. I, I don't know what the difference is, to be honest with you, because you still got to go to that bank to get the money out. Well, what's what's the difference? So if you go what, to, what uh, happened bank, if you don't have the money, it, but at least you just yeah. have to wait one week? That's it. Yeah. And also, we cannot schedule emergencies. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't know when it hit you. So if you get paid weekly, you get cash flow weekly. Not monthly, but weekly, which is really important if you travel. And also, there is another thing I'd like to add. If you do that on a weekly basis, you're basically also gaining diversification because not within the same family of funds, they're paying different days. They're all paying the same. For example, Edmax except the uh, funds of funds that paying like quality, all the others paying the same week. So if you concentrate too much into one, you're going to get one week a large check and you don't get the other week another check unless you're going to buy another fund. So if you travel, you, don't, you do want to diversify. That's also provide you a different risk profile. You do want to have positioning sizing in your portfolio because you don't want to have a single ETF risk. If something happens, there is a setback with the underlying and all of a sudden, or decide that uh, Jay is paying less dividend for that for Mm -hmm. some reason, because that trade didn't work well that week. That's the reason we do that diversification. It's a high risk, but high return when we do that. That's kind of what I wanted to emphasize. Well, that's just one aspect of it. The, the other aspect, I'll give it back to you, Maury. The other aspect is the snowball effect. You just get more opportunity to roll from one to another. And, exactly. Yeah. And and the third is just, so I'm, so I'm not bored. Otherwise, the YouTube, ch- if, I already told you guys this over and over again. If I don't have a YouTube channel, I only buy two funds. There's, uh, there's only two things I buy. Anybody want to take a guess? Tesla and Tesla. That's it. I care less about anything else. I because I but but otherwise it'd be boring. It'd be like it, it'd be boring. You know. I I trust me. I, I I'm I'm a very simple person. I would just buy Tesla, put my money, drip it, and then disappear. Come back a couple of years from now, and then and collect the money. You know. It's but it, it'd be boring. I'd be talking about Tesla, Tesla all day. Now Kobe said there's some YouTube channel guy. He only talk about Tesla all day. But uh, I just can't do that. I just want to be able to talk about some other stuff too. That's that's one of the big reasons why I own all these fun, uh, 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 Maury. All right, so I'll give it back to you, Maury. Uh, anybody here? Let me see. Anybody else? Oh, William, want to say something? Go ahead, William, are you driving trucks right now? I don't want you to get in a car accident, a bus, a truck accident. Oh, I'm fine. Going down the interstate. Uh, all right. I just one little caveat. To, uh, everybody's brought up great ideas. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm in a situation. I want to increase my revenue as yeah. quick as I can. But cash flow is king in my industry. Quite honestly, I make more per week on my dividends than I have uh, driving a truck this year. 
Yeah, so uh, in, in your field, you need you need that weekly cash. That's right, because that, you can have a flat tire, and guess what? You need cash right now. Yeah, try. I'm lucky enough to have cash reserves that uh, that I can draw on without touching my dividends right now. But when, once yeah. the shortfall comes and I need to draw it out of there, it, I will do it because I'm not going to uh, jeopardize my credit rating or anything. Because that's the other thing that uh, has helped me as well. That's all I got to say. All right. Scott, do you want to say something? And then I think Matt uh, just unmute his mic. But go ahead, Scott. Okay, um, I've been listening to you since August, and I think you're right on point on everything you do. Um, major, I think you're in 05. I'm in E6, Air Force retired. I don't think you're going to have any problems. You're going to have a nice retirement at the end of the day. You're, you're taking your time for the next two years to invest in certain things to bring you up to a certain point. Uh, I think I'm, you're going to be bringing my pay. My pay grade is 04, but that's okay. I just oh. want to correct you on that. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I just took a guess. Yeah, no, so don't worry, don't be, worry. Yeah. yeah, so you're going to be bringing in thousands of dollars in retirement plus all your benefits and yeah. all. So I don't think you have a problem. Nope. Um, like, uh, I mean, you, you're, <clears throat> you're bringing in good money now. And even if you just hold off for the next two years and being real risky or anything, mm -hmm. you're going to be bringing in lots of money and you're going to be investing it into certain things and you're going to be well off. Yeah. So I don't think you need to be all in one thing. I mean, you're enjoying it. It's, uh, it's exciting. And it, you know, I heard like last week when I was listening to you, mm -hmm. um, some jackass came on, on, you know, across and, and started saying some stupid stuff. He was cut off. I'm, I'm assuming he was uh, barred from the, uh, the discussion yep, ever yep. since. And it's like, you know, it really brings everybody down. Everybody's excited. People are bringing in money. They're making money. They're excited about investing. Um, I think you're going to be okay. Oh, four retired military. Yep. And uh, you're going to be bringing in thousands of dollars with dividends, and you're going to be bringing in retirement money hand over fist, and uh, you know just enjoy the ride. You know, <laughs> spread it out, enjoy it. You know, and just enjoy the ride. Hey, thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. I'm smiling, laughing. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I uh... no, the the only caveat is uh, the reason why I'm still working is because. I have I have a a, a a partner now, you know, my my wife. Uh, she she, uh, yeah. So I want to make sure she's taken care of too. So that's one of the reasons why I do these things. Is well, I make, yeah. Well, I I was investing in growth stocks mm -hmm. around the time when I started listening to you back in August. Yeah. And my wife, uh, she quit a job and basically a stay home mom. Yeah. So what I did then was take that money in the growth stocks and put it into the high dividend stocks. Yeah. And now what I'm doing now is bringing in money every month to cover what she would have been bringing in. Yeah. And now she can stay home and be, you know, the person she wants to be and do what she wants yeah. and not have to worry about the money, which is, I guess, what you're doing is yep, that you're much, bringing yep. in this money. Yeah. Taking care of your loved ones. Because yep. it's all about relationships and making the, you know, if the, if the queen is happy, there's peace in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. All is, right, is brother. Is your wife uh, an uh, ABG also? <laughs> no, no, not exactly. <laughs> she's she's taken care of, let's put it that way. She don't worry. My, my wife is the perfect passenger princess. She doesn't drive anywhere. She doesn't. I mean, I, I, I take care of her, you know, that's, that's, I love doing that. I love doing that, you know. If she takes care of you, oh, you yes, take care of her. It's a happy relationship. Yep. God bless. Yeah. Yeah, All can right, I say well, real quick? Let me say one thing yeah. quick, okay? Yeah, sure, go you, ahead. You could stay, the only reason I, I said what I said, because you were so concentrated on $10,000. Yeah. If satisfied with $8,000, keep it the way it is. I don't know what ten thousand dollars is. I mean, eventually you'll you'll get there, but no, it's it's a, it's just a number. It's a goal. Like people say, why do you do a thousand or why do you do one hundred? No, it, it's it, you gotta have some kind of goal and target because if you don't have a goal and target, then 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 you're just like all over the direction. 
and all over the space. So uh, 10,000, well, okay, why 10,000? Because that's how much a major get paid. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what that's what I've just replaced my income. If I was an O5, uh, you know, Lieutenant Colonel, and then it would be different, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I was an E6, you know, uh, Staff Sergeant, I, I, I'll, it will be a different amount. It's just trying to replace my income, you know. Well, everything, what everybody said, it's up to you. Whichever way you want to do it, keep it the way it is, or you want to change something, that that's fine. It's, it's your, you know, it's your portfolio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, at the end of the day, this is my point. Uh, did anybody want to say something else? I want to... Uh, yeah, before... I, I want to say something real quick. Oh, okay, yeah, Colby, go ahead. Um, I just want to kind of address one thing with the whole Tesla situation, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the whole reason why it gets... Everything gets compared to Tesla, you know, with you being down a lot. Mm -hmm. And you've been very vocal about it uh, a couple times in the past, but mm -hmm. I don't think it gets said enough. And that was just, you know, when you went in, you didn't dca mm -hmm. as much and you know now you're dcaing more on a lot of your newer positions yep so you're not going to be down as much even though like because you're not down a lot on alti right nope but alties went way down as well so if if you were to like go back in time and dca into tesla that whole comparing everything to tesla argument wouldn't exist oh yeah, yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah. um and the one last thing uh well two things you know we've given you one thing is we've given you a lot of ideas and you know given you various pathways to ten thousand dollars a month and you know like murray said it's at the end of the day it's your decision on what calls you're going to make um which pathway you're going to take so i wish you luck with all of that and the last Final thing I want to say before I hop off here, um, May is a military appreciation month and I know we got a lot of military members in here. So I just want to take a moment to say to all the military uh, men and women that we have in this community, thank you all for your service. Wow, look at thank you. you. Oorah. I give you, I give you a oorah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for our first class uh, retired U.S. Army. Uh -huh. Chef, do you want to say something? Yeah, Kamir. Yeah. Um, like I say, I, I'm I'm starting first class, retired E7. Yep. And, and trust me, when you come, when you retire, you ain't got nothing to worry about because between the VA and your retirement check, you probably mm -hmm. still gonna be close to ten thousand dollars there. Amen, yeah. brother. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. MJ, hey, come go here. Ahead. I got a question. For yeah, you. yeah. Um, I retired Air Force uh -huh. and I went into the post office yeah. and I have the thrift savings plan. Yeah. I am able, even before age 59 and a half, to take a loan out on the thrift savings. Are you able to do that while active duty? Because I know you've said in the past you can. that you can't touch. All right. So have you ever thought about maybe taking that money out that you can take out? No, I, I, I don't want to touch it because uh, because I, I, I just, I, you know, it's just it's just a decision I made because I can take loans through the H loan. You know, you, you understand before I did this stuff, I had rental property. So I was doing well right. with that. So I didn't need to touch. I literally didn't need to touch my, any other form of loans. In other words, I complicated. I, I just want my loan to come from a central central place. Vices. Now I have loan coming from. Not, I'm putting putting my TSP in danger, and my TSP is doing really well. So you got to imagine I've been paying twenty percent since I was a private. So right. So but, when I withdraw that but, money, uh, that money is going to be uh, you know if I live to that long, I'm, I'm still twenty years away from that. But if I if I live to that age and I can withdraw from it, then hey man, uh, it's going to be great. It's it's going to be. I, I never I'm I'm not even gonna, I'm not worried about money. Yeah. I'll tell you what I, I what I done um when I retired from the army I was working for Social Security mm -hmm. for like seven years and I had the TSP. Mm -hmm. What I done I let it stay in in the in the uh with the TSP and they just kept rolling over and rolling over. I had the G fund, C, S, and I fund. Yeah, and it tripled in seven years so you know once i start doing this 
you can transfer it once you're no longer with that agency. You can transfer yeah, it yeah. into whatever financial institution you want. I transferred my TSP into Charles Schwab where I can control, you know, what vehicles I buy within, you know. You can't, you, you know, they got a few things now with the TSP that you can, you know, different funds you can get in. Yeah. But once I transferred everything over to Charles Schwab and I've been working it myself, oh, man, it's been great. All right. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I have all kind of plan, but uh yeah I'll, sh I'll share i share when i get to that point uh mj uh you want to say something yeah so i mean i'm not i'm not i'm not sitting here trying to say that moyer was wrong in any way in shape because to be honest with you i actually agree with him on, on a few things one of the factors is, is you know I, I i do see your portfolio all the time you know when you put it out i like the factor that you're straight open with it and i think that's what one people We'll, we'll sit there and say nay, nay, naysayers. They don't really understand and look at is that you. You're a very open book. The this is the one thing that I would tell you because I was watching your slideshow. You, 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 you're very good at, at at PowerPoints. I don't know how good you are with spreadsheets, but I know you're good with PowerPoints. The one question that I would have for you though is is because I know you, you, you your goal is the ten thousand dollars a month, and you have a certain amount you want want per week. Mm -hmm. My question to you would be, have you ever tried to run a spreadsheet, though, that of all your stocks that you have or all your shares that you have that are under? We'll sit there and say we'll go easy under 50 shares a piece and actually put that together and see how much because like, we know your week three is what's hurting the most. Your, your, week, your week three payout dividends and actually see that if you'd actually be able to get them to a thousand dollars, if those particular funds you did liquefy and put that back in because right now for the things that are are looking at the pay payout week three you're still ahead of the curve to where you can buy into them to get those dividends still this month right, let me see if i can understand your question the question is have i put an excel spreadsheet to track my fund well no no well, well technically what i'm saying i mean yes and no what i'm sitting there saying now or possibility uh oh yeah i do it all the time you just miss one i you just miss it earlier when i did when i did uh every sunday i go to the excel and i go to powerpoints uh you just miss it. i mean that's that's just a basic premise i can i can get very complicated uh you cannot uh man you 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 almost you have to use an excel spreadsheet to to find uh you know when you play what if scenario because what happened if you move this around rebalance it or what happened if you buy more of something and less of something because the dividend payout is different and because the goal is to get to a certain amount that's and some of them is it's, it's not you don't need excel spreadsheet because it's not that difficult you can just do it in your head but yeah i do have an excel spreadsheet that track very detailed uh on on things uh, but okay, you know, i mean because that's a, like that's the thing that, that i'm just asking though is yeah the 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 but the, I'm not an Excel spreadsheet guy, you know, like, like retired dividend is an Excel You know, I used to do the exact same thing like with a retired dividend. You do price prediction and we go out there and track the option trades. Uh, yeah, there used to be retired dividend price prediction and there was command price prediction. And uh, and then we try to come up with the best price for it, uh, uh, for, for, the, uh, uh, for the dividend payout for that, for that month. I used to do exact same thing, but the, the problem is a lot of work and I don't have time to do that. And I like this format better where we just have discussion because one, I, I don't, I don't have to do any work. I don't have to do any more additional work. Just, just because what I want more than anything else is, is the free flow of ideas. And so this way I can come to a, a reasonable conclusion on, on what to do, you know, like me personally and, um, and, and then some people learn from that and some people, you know, take notes from it. Like this discussion is really healthy because I took notes. Like, I don't know if you saw every time I bend over, I'm taking notes uh, because uh, just kind of get a frame of reference. So tomorrow, uh, you know, tomorrow I'm going to have to make a decision on that. I, I don't know if that answered your question, but yeah. Uh, to a certain degree, I mean, it, 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 well, it told me that you, you you are tracking your things the way that they are. 
I the way I was just saying is because like I think the way Mori was also looking at it was just the factor is is that like any 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 stocks that you have fifty shares or less of have you ever tried to maybe put those together to see what you would have got and maybe see what you can buy into for the week three so technically you could hit nine thousand or so oh, this yeah, particular yeah, yeah. month. I mean, I mean, and, and, uh, let me just show you real quickly. I mean, there's my Excel spreadsheet. I can sort it by quantity, and uh, let's say go from largest to smallest, all right? Or smallest to largest. Here's all my here's all my 50, 50 share or less. I mean, all I do is cut the copy this out, this whole thing out, and put it into another tab, and I can add. I mean, literally, I can do this in in about ten seconds here, and uh, you know, and here. Okay, I, I mean, well, here you go. Unless and I'm then, missing something on the on the. On your live stream, all I'm seeing is the website. But oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, all right. I, mean, I don't need. No, no, you're good. No, no, that's all right. But yeah, that's that's all that I'm just asking. Is just that if if you ran those particular numbers, to where if you did think about that, yeah, I still think that you should still do. You know, getting paid every week because you was like we've all agreed. You can't plan for emergencies. You can't plan for, you know, craziness. You know, but have you looked at some of your things to do you know to to weed out a little bit but to use that to get your your week three up that's that's technically we're just asking yeah if if i sell everything that's one share a 50 share or 40 share less i didn't do i didn't select the 50 share i will get seven thousand dollar plus i'm getting seven thousand dollar month of may that's fourteen thousand dollar and then if i add uh the nine thousand dollar from Tesla, I mean that's you know literally that's all that money going in there. So you're talking about uh, fourteen thousand plus nine, so twenty three thousand. You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then and then I can throw it all into into these funds. Yeah, so this this I mean it's an interesting option. It's yeah. Just thinking of, of ideas, so like instead of say you stay on your weekly thing, I love the weekly thing, and, but yeah, it's like a it's like a compromise between you know me and Maury. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, uh, for sign, you want to say something? Uh, uh, you have you have something to add on before I jump in and and close out this uh, because we got to talk about what we're gonna do tomorrow. <laughs> Chef, do you want to say something? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right, well, because you had your mic on mute, so that's why I thought you want to say something. Okay, let me uh, let me put the uh, let me put my uh, uh, well, since I have the PowerPoint up here, the Excel spreadsheet up, uh, we'll just do it from the Excel spreadsheet. I was going to show the uh, my portfolio. So, uh, first of all, uh, I want to share this perspective. So, thank you everyone for having an opinion. That's exactly why I do the YouTube video. Is I want I want discussions and ideas, free fall ideas, uh, so this way I can make good sound decision, uh, so I can you know, that's really the one of the sole reason. It's not doing it for clicks, not doing it for income, uh, not doing it for for anything. You know, it's just I the, the free flow ideas is what helped me. Uh, so one I can learn to be a better investor, learn how to make more money. And uh, learn, you know, learn different options, different different suggestions, and stuff like that. So that's number one. Number two, they're all just opinions. Nobody gonna tell me how to do something. There's only three people. Uh, there's only three things in this world that I listen to: God, my wife, and my mom. Uh, well, my parents, you know, my mom and dad. You know, so that's it. If you're not one of those three, I I, I take no order from anybody. So I just kind of like. Um, so what I do is I take the ideas and then I want to throw it and play with it and, and, and some, and, and I incorporate a lot of the ideas into my portfolio and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, uh, I totally, I'm in line with, uh, Maury because that's my philosophy. When I first came into yield max, uh, I, I had 98% of my portfolio in Tesla. There is a pro and con in that. The pro is you're maximizing in total income. 
That's the reason why my portfolio jumped so much because I was 98% into portfolio. But but you gotta be phase, I do it as a part of the phase planning. So first year is accumulating the number of shares and 98% went into Tesla. All my money went into Tesla. Literally, when I said all in on Tesla, I was all in on Tesla. But now that's not the case. I'm not I'm not 98% anymore. Uh, let me show you my portfolio uh, again. I'm not in I'm not all in in Tesla because Tesla right now we're looking at roughly 30 something percent of my portfolio. All right? Because I'm in a different phase, okay? Um where is Tesla? Tesla right here. Let me scroll down. Tesla right now is 38% of my portfolio. And it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller as, as the month go by. Eventually, Tesla is going to be 10% of my portfolio. Eventually, the income fund, the entire the income fund right now is 94% of my portfolio. Well, this entire income fund is going to be 20% of my portfolio. You know, so that's eventually, but but I'm still making 20, imagine making $20,000 a month and it's still 20% of my portfolio because, you know, so that this it's a it's a planning it's a planning phase you know i i can't i can't skip it you know if i skip it then it doesn't work my theory my concept my philosophy on investment it probably not gonna it's not gonna mature the way it's supposed to be the first year is accumulating i just want to get as many shares as possible once tesla reached three thousand dollar i stop you know i was like okay got it then my second year i i utilize the margin because i want to maximize the return of as much as I can. Utilize the margin, and then, uh, and not only that, diversify my portfolio. So that's what I'm doing: diversify, and then, and go after that. And my third year, I'm going to pay for all my margin. I'm going to pay off all my margin, all my debt, because I'm getting more than ten thousand dollars a month. And that ten thousand dollars a month is extra money because I don't need it. I still have a salary. I still have a job. So I'm going to take that money and pay. Uh, pay down everything at 10,000 and then work on taxes to establish taxes. Eventually what happened when I leave, all my bills, doesn't matter what it is, all my bills gonna be withdrawn from Charles Schwab account. So my mortgage, my car payment, my cyber truck, my boats, my motorcycle, my insurance, everything all come from this. I don't know how that work yet because Charles Schwab doesn't make it easy. I, I All I did is open a check account, but I haven't seen how that works. So I will, it's not a concern right now. It's a concern in my third year. So if they can't do it, guess what? I'll go find a brokerage that can do it and probably close my child's swap account. But either way, uh, all that money is 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 getting ready to pay all my bills. So um, so that's one way you have to do it. Um, you know, or or pay the credit card and then this thing pay the credit card. So my my credit card pay all the bills and this thing pay the credit card. That's the one way to do it. You know, there's 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 an option. I, I like the opinions a lot. So because I came, I start with one or two funds and okay, so what am I doing? What is my, my strategy now? I, the, my strategy is essentially building around the weekly because uh, building around the core and satellite, you know, here's my core, here's my satellite. And if I DCA correctly, I'm not going to have that Tesla issue that I run into, uh, just like what Kobe was talking about. Um, so that's, that's essentially my focus is to generate ten thousand dollar through the core and satellite. All right. So this way it it, it minimizes my risk uh, or decrease my risk and not exposure to uh, to a, an event where Tesla is coming down and I'm down twenty six thousand dollars because I have such a large share amount. If I was a, if if this fund were to start over again, let's say I I start over again brand new. Now, I wouldn't own 3,000 share of Tesla. I would not. I would, because number one, Tesla has to compete against all these other funds. Matter of fact, because they have to compete against all these other funds, I may not even, you may look at Tesla as eight share, 10 share, 12 share, just like this. Because it's just not, it, the dividend yield is not as attractive in comparison to Coney, IWMY, QQY, and Clip. We're talking about the current state now. But back then, when I bought it, when me, Matt, and all of us first bought it for the first six, seven, for the first seven months of Tesla, Tesla was the king. There was nobody else can dethrone it. It was the king. It was paying a dollar. It was paying eighty cents. It was paying ninety cents. So it, it dominated. It, it crushed everyone. Um, and that's why I went went all in. So I got it. And uh, so with that in mind, 
Um, the, the strategy I'm going after is, is essentially, if you see Moneyball, if you see Moneyball from Brad Pitt uh, movie, they're trying to replace uh, Jason Giambi uh, on base percentage. So they went and get three players uh, to replace that, uh, to replace Jason Giambi. And that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm not gonna sell out of Tesla. That's one thing I can't do until I get rid of my margin because Tesla is connected to my margin. So if you notice my, my margin came down a little bit because Tesla, I, I had 3,750 share at one point. At oh, one point I have 7,500 share, divide that by in half, it became 3,700. Right now sitting at 3,600. And guess what, my margin went down also. This thing is tied together, all right? So it's, it, my margin does not tie to anything else except to Tesla because that's what I use the money for. Just like that one guy used the money to buy Amazon, I'm using money to buy Tesla, okay? So it's connected. And to answer the margin question really quick, I made about two to $3,000. My margin is less than $700. So the rest of the money is my money that I, the rest of the money is the money I, I can use to buy something else. So if Tesla paid me $3,000 and my margin is 700, uh, my interest is, so now I get 2,300 that I can contribute to my portfolio. Every month I get 2,300, all right? So if I'm gonna get rid of Tesla, I have to get rid of the margin first. So that's, that's they're connected in that. I, I will decrease Tesla, but I'm not gonna do it right now. It's not that important because what I need to do is grow all these other funds first. By growing other funds, the Tesla number will come down, all right? So how I'm gonna do that, uh, somebody has open mic. Do you wanna say something? Uh, uh, TPA5 Medic, oh. do you wanna say something? Uh, nope, where's that open mic at? It's you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, just, uh, just technical difficulties. Yeah, just click on mute. No worries. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it, TPA. Hey, come here. I have something to say. Yeah. Um, are you investing in a stock in the third week because it's better than the stock in the second week or the first week? Or are you going to invest in the stock because you have confidence in it being better than the other stocks that you're investing in? Like the, I'm saying, the reason, I, yeah. I mean, if, yeah, go yeah. ahead. The reason why I'm talking about third week now, well, why didn't I do third week, you know, last year or six months ago or whatever? Because there was no third week funds. Third week fund is new. Why bitches came out and why Max and why Max just came out, you know, a couple months ago? They, 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 it didn't exist. The only thing that exists was the curve, TSLP, and they pay yucky payments. Okay. And then the now, other one is uh, there's a there's a I, I think it's a it's a, a German company a German uh, close end fund I forgot the name like GOF or something like that uh, that paid third week. There's not many uh, and PSEC P S E C another another stock that pay third week. There's not many stocks out there that pay third week pure third week. Yield Max came out and they said I'm going after the third week because we talk about third week for a long time. Matter of fact, we made a video for rec share uh, uh, and we made a video for yield max to answer that you know to answer that specific question is that hey the, if you want the retail manager a retail investor take a look at keep the price at twenty dollar and move it the third week because there's nobody out there playing third week because if you do first week you compete compete against the uh, JP Morgan guys because you know Jeppy Jep Q and all that stuff if you go to fourth week, you compete against uh, some other fund, CLM, you know, a uh, whole bunch of other funds out there, you know. So, you know, where where they pay out in the week matter to retail investor. Um, you, does that make sense, Scott? Well, I understand that. I'm just wondering if you're putting your money into, let's say, UTLY mm -hmm. instead of, let's say, Coney, just because it's third week, if you think Coney is a better buy and a better stock with better dividends. Yeah, I, I that's, mean, that's a really like, good question. A really good question. Yes, Coney is a better stock and a better buy. But however, I do the cost average things too. My cost average is $21 and Coney is $24. Okay, so that's number one. If, if Coney was 
is not a no brainer. I'm not. Even, I'm not even looking at third week. I don't care, because you got to go with right. the best player available. This is like the draft pick. This is like it's like imagine we're all doing fantasy f- football, uh, fantasy uh, basketball or something like that. Now fantasy baseball is kind of like really dry. But if for those who play fantasy basketball and fantasy football, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You got a whole bunch of people on the on the table. You got to go with the best quarterback at that draft at that round. You cannot you cannot skip it. You kind of like uh, I need a receiver. I need a running back. You know, everybody go running back on first round. Everybody go running back. Depend what league you in. So you know, a two quarterback league or one quarterback league, you are going after the running back if they get more points. Right. So I I was like everybody keep passing on Tom Brady. And uh, <laughs> I was like, I was like, no way, you know. So it's it's just it's just preference. Of course, I get I get punished for it because I didn't I didn't pick it out order because running back generates so much point. But it's Tom Brady, so you gotta you, that that's my point. Coney is like Tom Brady. MSTY is like Tom Brady. If you can if you can afford it and you can buy it, you should buy it. Matter of fact, I have no problem DCAing up. Um, so Connie right now is twenty four ninety one. It's going to bring down two dollars. Uh, so that's going to bring down to twenty two dollar and something cents, uh, twenty two dollar ninety one cents. So there's a potential now. If if Bitcoin drop also, we can find out pretty quickly right here. If Bitcoin drop or not? Um, if Bitcoin is dropping, uh, also in addition, uh, they don't look like they're dropping. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, day. No, they don't look. <laughs> it look like it's going to go up tomorrow. All right. So, guess what? Um, you, you, I, I gotta, I gotta put some money in Connie on MST because they're, they're the, they're this, they're, they're the better choice right now. Okay, the, so the pretty girl in the prom. Yeah, they're the pretty girl in the prom. Yeah, they're the pretty girl in the room right now. So, but however, if I, that because I didn't have a third week option. Now I have a true third week. I have ULTY, which I truly believe in it. I, I believe in the. In the model, and they kind of screw it up. So I believe in the model, and I hope they can fix it. And uh, and then I I believe in YMAG, MAG. YMAG is like mini Feppy, F E P I. It's like a little mini version of it. And then mm-hmm. YMAX, and uh, which I believe. So Me too. those those three funds is it's lacking right now because I haven't put in into it. Uh, so if I don't put into it, guess what? Every third week, I'm going to say, I ran out of money. I have no money. I have no money. Man, I want to buy something. I want to buy something. All right. I, one thing I would like to have is the option to buy something when I do need to buy something. Okay, so me and Matt were talking about this. So here's my game plan um, for tomorrow. I get 1800 tomorrow. All right. Let's, let's talk about the income first. I got 1800 tomorrow. On Wednesday, uh, on Wednesday, I'm gonna get five, uh, four thousand dollars, more than four thousand, but I'm just gonna round to four thousand, almost five thousand. So four thousand dollars, but that's the second week. So that's five thousand eight hundred combined. All right, that I can choose to buy something between Monday and Wednesday. All right, so that's five thousand eight hundred. What should I buy? All right, that's, and of course. I can buy my third week, which is ULTY, Y Max, Y Max. All right. What I'm planning to do is going to my second option is I'm going to, I'm planning to buy, uh, I'm going to split the 1,800 into three or four ways. And so this is what I'm looking to buy. I'm looking to buy Misty. I'm looking to buy NVD. I'm looking to buy Facebook and Google and Microsoft. And you're like, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, it's not that many because all I'm doing, let me let me sort it by uh, name symbol again. So let me an example. Microsoft. All I'm doing is DCA and double double this amount. That's it, because this price is going to come down to twenty dollar tomorrow. Guess what? I'm going to buy ten share, kabam, DCA. Good. I just moved my DCA, and then Google, Google right now is sitting at eighteen dollar, essentially at my DCA price. So what, guess what? That thing gonna come down to $17 and something cents. I'm gonna buy 11 share. Perfect, that's $1,080 that's $180 roughly. Or one, 100, let's say $200. Yeah, but one, $187, all right? If I buy it $17. And Facebook, 
Uh, where's Facebook? Facebook, I have 12 share, and this thing gonna come down to roughly around uh, 18 something, a high 18 or low 19, all right? So I'm gonna spend roughly $200 and um, on this, bam, 12. I just DCA down with it, all right? The rest of the money, the rest of the 1800, whatever remaining, I'm gonna buy NVD and Mesty. I'm gonna throw into Mesty because my Mesty is pretty low too, all right? So I only have 40 share. My ultimate goal is to get 100 share across the board. All, all of them have 100 share, that's the first goal. That's easy goal that I can go after. I can get that. I can literally take $1,800 and buy 60 share of Misty, call a day, and then I'm done, all right? That's, I can do that, or I can just space it out and, and DCA these guys, you know? Continue to DCA them and c continue to work uh, the price, you know? And then, um, and make my portfolio keep more green, and then and buy 50 share of this, okay? Uh, buy 10 share or whatever, whatever the amount left. Let's say the amount left is 10 share, then I buy Misty 10 share, no problem. Okay, that's that's Monday. On Wednesday, when I get paid four thousand dollar, I'm gonna take two thousand of which to buy ULTY, uh, and because ULTY is so cheap, I can get a hundred share. That's one thousand five hundred. Uh, I'm now I'm gonna buy that on the X date on the third week. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move that money to the third week. I'm gonna buy on the X date. So that price is gonna drop, come down to $14 or $13, whatever it is. I'm gonna buy for that price. The rest of the money, I'm gonna buy Y Max and Y Max, all right, for that $2,000. So now I'm leaving $2,000 in reserve. That's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna leave that in reserve. So going to the third week, going to the fourth week in May, going toward June, if there's a fund out there that, let's say, let's say, let's say Misty, for example, uh, Bitcoin is coming down hard and it dropped below 28 because my average is 28 and now it's hitting at, let's say it's sitting at 26, which it happened last month, all right? But let's say, let's say they drop, guess what? I'm gonna, I can take that $2,000 and buy Misty in that time. Whatever, whatever that is available, then I will take a look and, and buy that. But either way, I'm gonna keep $2,000 in the reserve and that's one thing I didn't do last, you know, I, I never done that. I just never really keep reserve. So what happened is I always run out of money. So when I need money, I, I waited for my dividend to pay me and then I use the money. And so I think uh, after talking to Matt, one of the things that I am definitely taking a look at is keeping the reserve. And especially well, if Connie coming down. All right, go ahead. Well, Matt. Major, Major, um, let, me, let me just ask you yeah. why, I mean, on Robinhood, I have it where I pay, I, I make a payment into the stocks daily, mm -hmm. right? I contribute. Do you have that ability? Because like like me, you know, um, with each each one of my stocks, I put twenty dollars a day. I don't even think about. I don't it. know how to auto. You know? I don't know how to auto set. There is a feature in Charles Schwab, but I have to open that feature. I have to open that account. Uh, I think okay. it's. Called I, I have Robinhood, so it makes it really easy. Yeah, they, I I don't have it right now in my current setting. Uh, um, it's called reoccurring account. investments. What do you call? Reincurment investment. Yeah, I, I don't have it that that feature. I I have to set it up. I have to call them and an open account or something. Um, no, that's a good point. Okay. Well, hey, have a great night, and yeah. uh, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, uh, Matt. Before I turn over to you, Mr. Crab, do you want to say something? All right, Mr. Crab did not want to say anything. Uh, okay, uh, Matt, uh, the floor is yours. Hey, bud. I think Rocco wants to talk to us too now. Oh, who, um, who? I'm sorry, who want to talk Rocco, to you? Rocco, the bird. The bird. Um, yeah, look, what everybody needs to, to think about is, and we had a great discussion last night my time. It was, yeah. it was brilliant. It felt like 10 minutes and it was an hour 40, hour 50, something yeah. like that. Um, and it's it, it's good just to think out loud. So, what I want to say to the others in Discord in Discord who haven't joined Voice, join in the discussion, like quite literally. 
have a discussion about what it is you're doing and why you're doing it and stuff like that, two things will happen. One, you'll learn something and the other, three things will happen, sorry. One is you'll learn something. The other is you might teach somebody else something. And the other thing is it crystallizes it in your mind. So it makes you better. I, I know some people are a bit shy and all that sort of stuff, but we have a friendly community. Get involved in the discussions, you know. Um, it, it, on top of helping other people, you are helping yourself the most. It's the one thing that I've really learned over the last 12 months being in this community. It really is. Um, all the semantics around it. Look, you can look at a book. You can look at your own portfolio and it's a blended portfolio unless you own a single stock and that's it. And uh, the thing is, you can get the income that you want, even if you're starting from a very low base over a period of time. I think the one thing that a lot of people forget is these compound monthly or or however frequently you want to buy a new stock or buy back into an existing stock, but you get the choice to make that monthly. 90% of the other or, or the rest of the others are quarterly and annually. It's a long time to wait for 12 months to buy some more shares, you know. Um, that is a it can be a benefit too. It means you're really sitting out unless you're putting money in out of your own pocket every month or every week or every day, however you choose to do it. Yeah. But once you get to a certain size portfolio, the money that you're putting in out of your own pocket becomes infinitesimal. So don't do it. Use that money for something else. It could be paying down debt. It, it, it could be going on a trip somewhere after a few months, you know, whatever it is. Like, I don't know whether you're still adding your $1,500 a month or not, Camille, but it really, like, you think about it, you, for all intensive purposes, you're at eight grand a month now. That $1,500 a month has become less as a percentage and less as a percentage. When you're at 10 grand, it's, you know, a touch over 10%. Does it really make that big a difference? And the answer is no, you know you could divert those funds to paying off a car or paying off a mortgage or whatever you want to do mm -hmm. so that within the two or three year time frame you are basically debt free as well when you retire so not have you only replaced your income yep. and everyone's right you will get other income from your pension from the forces it's, they're pretty good like that mm -hmm. but then you'll have no debt as well yep. and just having no debt frees you up so much yeah, yeah, I, I, I appreciate. It. But you know, here, here's the thing, Matt. I think you and I talk about this for those who did not hear hear the our conversation. It, at the end of the day, man, what a good problem to have. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm I'm debating about what to do with eight thousand dollars. You know, seven thousand dollars. You know, that's great. You know, I mean, you I know can't what? believe I still can't believe I'm here. You know, a year ago we were talking about. Remember, I made a, a video. I made. $400, uh, you know, and I was yeah. happy, you well, know. <laughs> we were talking from three to $5,000 in 12 months. Yeah. Like, that's what we were talking about when you first started out. Yeah. It was always that. Yeah, the long-term goal was 10. Yeah. But who would have thought you would have been within 20% of that goal in 12 months? Yeah. Like, I, I can't believe I'm talking about that now, you know, like... And you know what? You haven't even maximized your returns because you had some money in some other things that weren't paying dividends or some low paying dividends and, and, and things yeah, like that. Yeah, and, along I, the way. and like, Maury hit the points. Like, I, I have money that I'm not even tie, you know, yeah. tied up. Like, that, yeah. In essence, that could have been an extra $10,000 a year in income. Yeah, that's yeah. He, he, he brought a good point. And there is a, there is a phase when I sell that, Maury. Um, yeah. And, and Matt, I, I will I will sell it, but it's not not at the moment right now. I don't need to, no, it's it, not needed yet. You know what I mean? Like I'm only using it to point out that you haven't maximized your income. Yeah, I don't like don't get me wrong, but I, it, it doesn't matter to me. Like yeah. I pointed out to you last night, but um, th that twelve thousand dollar investment into those other stocks, that's mm -hmm. costing you even at 50 percent, 600 bucks a month. Yep. 
round figures, you know. Oh. So it, it, instead of being seven grand round figures, it would have been closer to eight grand round figures yeah. for the month. Yeah. It, this lot of current distribution. So, it, it, you know, um, and I understand why you're doing it and you're doing it to be able to t teach people, I guess, is the right word. It, it, it's looking at that, but it, it, it's all one big milk, melting pot. Um, but it, it, it just, it really does amaze me, the power of compounding monthly rather than quarterly and annually, and at, at rates that are, you know, if, if, if you think um, distributions are 5% a year, you're doing it 12 times faster. Yeah. Like the average distribution on these is about 60%. It's probably a touch over because there are some you know, 110, 120% ones in there. But it probably averages 50 to 60%. So that's, instead of being 5% a year, you're doing 5% a month. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, uh, it, it's, it's, it's great, man. It, what a, what a it great is. problem. It is. Like, and, and we talk about now finding a right stock to invest in rather than only having three or four as a choice. Mm-hmm. And this has all happened within 12 months. Yeah. Imagine what the next 12 months are going to do. Like, Yieldmax have bought out a short one. Yeah. How many more am I going to bring out? <laughs> you know? Well, there's Seriously. other fun besides Yieldmax. There's other company coming out. Yeah, here. I know. But, but it, 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 it's one of the first short funds. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm never going to short a stock. Yeah. It's just not money. I am not going to use leverage stocks. It just... It, like, I'm not going to use a one and a half times or a two times or a three times leverage stock. Yeah. Short or long. It's just not me. You know, but I understand why people do it. I could have made a lot of money if I'd shorted Tesla the last 12 months. But it's just not going to happen. It, it's not make money at any cost for me. I yeah. think there's still an ethics about it. I'm not cheering for somebody to, to go broke. I'm cheering for somebody to make money. There's a big mindset difference. No, I, it, it's awesome, man. <laughs> I'm just laughing how much, uh, this is such, a, it's been a fun, uh, it's, it's just a fun dilemma. You know, it's just like every day, that's why a lot of us are so addicted to these things because every day we're constantly trying to figure out what is the best price and when do you buy into it? And, uh, and how much dividend you get and all this stuff and which one to buy. It, you you got to figure out which what funds to buy, what company, what day, what week or whatever, you know, like how much to put in. There's just so many choices now. It's just, what a great problem, man. What a great problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and there's <laughs> nothing, nothing out there stopping my portfolio. N you know, it, it that's the most beautiful part. My portfolio continued to go to the moon, and uh, and continue to get. I, I can't wait to see what you know two years from now is or three years. Holy cow! It, it just I don't even want to think about it. You know. Yeah. 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 It's been just fun. Just nuts. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's a wild ride. Yeah. Like it really is. Yeah. And that's I, all I want to say. Yeah. It's, it's just get involved. Enjoy it. It's, you know, a good trip. Like for, for all the news in the world. Yeah. All you've got to do is look at your backyard and, 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 and look at this board and this YouTube channel and a couple of others and, and look at all the good that's happening. Like, yeah. You don't realize it yet, but you, you're setting yourself free. Mm -hmm. You really are. KC, you want to say something? Yeah, you know, it's so crazy. Like two years ago, my wife and I were planning uh, our exit from our business. And the goal was to buy a bunch of JEPI and JEPQ. Right, because that's you know that's what was probably the best of the best yeah. uh, a couple, three years ago. And and now, you know, a safe, a for me, a safe 
dividend fund, stable dividend fund, is paying 30%? You know, it's insane, man. It's like giving us years. Well, my wife and I, it's giving us years that two years ago just wasn't available. Yeah. I mean, can, isn't this crazy, man? Like a, one that's considered safe now is like 20 and 30%. You know, it is insane how well, how great this, these things this is are. Where, this is where, like, the investment community, especially the growth community, they they don't really quite understand. So they, you know, people like us, for some reason, we we're, we're toxic to them. You know, we they think that they think that we are, what we're doing is going to be a failure, and somehow I'm bringing everybody to this cause that's going to be fail, uh, be a failure. You know, so. They, they, what they don't see is, well, first of all, you do you, you do you, you do whatever you want to do. With, this is my portfolio, and the the high yield dividend space uh, option trading was not available in 2022. No, I mean not not the way they, you know, SEC didn't approve it. You know, single stock fund. They went after a single stock fund, and uh, you know, doing synthetic cover call. And you you make you you know I mean if you don't like them or whatever reason, uh, you may think them as a scam or it doesn't work whatever. But there's a lot of us are making good money on these things, and uh, you know. Man, I do do not care what anyone else says. Man, I do not care. All I care about is what my portfolio says. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I do not care what anyone content anyone puts out it's irrelevant man yeah. I, you know <laughs> put out whatever you, people can put out whatever they want as long as it as long as my portfolio is going the way it needs and, and it's giving my wife and i the freedom yeah. two three four years earlier than we expected psh, i don't care what they said i'll be reading all their negative comments and watching all their negative videos as i'm traveling across the country come here yeah. just laughing my head just yeah, laughing my way, tail yeah, off same way for me i mean once once i reach my goal it doesn't really matter it doesn't nah, really matter. Man. don't you matter and I, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to uh the baseball game and we eat some hot dogs man Especially my Royals, boy, they're playing good. Yeah. If they can keep it up for another year till I get retired, then yeah. Are you okay to sit you know? next to a Red Sox fan? I don't care about the Reds. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you know, I don't have no hate on the Reds. It, you know, we're in a different division, right? So yeah, yeah. Chicago White Sox is, uh, yeah. you know, there's a bigger problem for us. So right. Cleveland. I agree 110 percent. What y'all just said it does not matter what other people say every month i get my thirty-five thousand dollars. they can go pack sand as far as i'm concerned <laughs> yeah, this is shell not bad money man thirty-five thousand dollar. i mean for a sergeant you make more money than most general well hey i just got to keep it moving i got a goal and and i'm a i'm a goal driven person like what you say you got to set a number and you sh you shoot for it man yeah 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 and, and 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 the beautiful part is here you know uh you could hear my music playing because alvis is uh is playing in the background here um not alvis this is 21 k-pop band um and that's Minzy talking uh, screaming no so um you know so here's here's a beautiful pod man not one time you hear me saying please subscribe please comment matter of fact i'm going to tell you the opposite don't subscribe uh and uh, you don't need to like you don't need to do anything just you know this youtube channel is really you know we are very specific on on the people who want to hang out in our in, in our channel in our space and uh and you know mostly my friends families and people who is into high yield dividends investing and generate income you know on these things that's it if you're not into these kind of thing then yeah there's so many other youtube channels to watch there's so many other youtube to hate on uh and uh and so what i i definitely enjoy this so much and it's it's been a blast i i enjoy it uh matter of fact you know um I mean, we're going to our second year here. It's just un unbelievable. It's just been an amazing ride. And my portfolio continues to get bigger and bigger. 
And not only that, my YouTube is getting bigger. For, for whatever reason, it keeps getting bigger. You know, just the amount of people I ban, just, it's unbelievable. And you think about it, every time you ban somebody, you lose the click view, you lose the subscription, you lose everything, and it doesn't really matter because it's still getting bigger and bigger. Uh, because at the end of the day, what happened in about a few years, like, remember people used to talk about, I, I don't know, like, no one talked about QYLD. You know why they don't talk QYLD? Because the math does not work on QYLD anymore. You know, because it's it's over 10 years old, and you keep talking about nav erosion, and you I say, okay, how come QYL, QYLD nav erosion? Why don't you guys talk about that? It's been around for 10 years because they make so much money on total return that it almost does not even matter anymore, you know? And uh, so, and all these high yield dividends here, uh, it's crazy, you know? They, they, they're here to stay. They're here to stay. And uh, and there's more coming. Fidel just opened a new income fund. Another, you know, I can't wait to see more. Wait until State Street come out with their own income fund on the SPY. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy, all right? There's just so many funds coming out. Uh, so many income funds everywhere. And there's no, more YouTuber and there's more strategy. Uh, just like that Amazon guy, or not, I don't know what his channel was. He, uh, KC, have you heard of this guy? I saw, I saw one time, man, I just, I was so amazed that there's a guy who, who took $300,000 loan from his home and he bought all onto AMZ. Uh, I, I, the video came across, uh, I haven't Holy looked at cow. it. Oh, and he got this, he got this music and he got this personality with him. Uh, oh yeah, that, this, there's tons of, tons of YouTuber coming out, you know. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, the funds, the funds are growing, man. They're so diverse, Kamir. Yeah. They're not all ULTY with high dividends. Yeah. They're more, a lot of them are suited like for me. Yeah. Lower dividends that are more stable that I can pull them out 100% live off of. Yeah. You know, there's one for everybody. Yeah, if you want really good stable price appreciation, look at the curve. Look at TSLP on the curve. Same Tesla, same understock, same everything. Yeah, one pay 60 cents and one pay 30 cents. But guess what? There's no price. It's not sitting at $15, $13. It's sitting at $20, you know? And uh, at um, so a total different, total different strategy. Uh, there's like, like I say, one for, like, there's income fund for everything now, you know, for, yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, I really appreciate it, guys. I would love to chat some more. I, I you know, uh, but I love, I, this is where I told you, like, I'm not going to get rich through YouTube. I'm going to get rich through my portfolio. And this is how I get richer because I learned so much. I took so much notes. So tomorrow when I make a decision, my game plan right now is to buy Misty, NVD, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft for tomorrow. But who knows? I mean, when I see the price tomorrow, I may change my mind. I may cross something out or maybe add something on. So, but uh, this is the plan I'm going in tomorrow. All right, with that, everyone, hey, take care. Uh, peace out.